Welcome to Wayfair.com. We sell home stuff, your home stuff. Anything, everything online. High end, low end, your style, grandma style, all of it. And it ships for free. Spend less time searching store to store and more time spending your weekends the way you want to. Because Wayfair is like shopping thousands of furniture stores at once. And you never have to leave your sofa. All right, let's get this thing started. Let there be gay music. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Gay music engage. And... Rebel Galaxies. Oh, man. I am excited for this title. So, I did a first impression to this... Oh, man. Months ago. Like, months ago. And I just got the review copy today. We were streaming Battlefront when Tabby sent me the message. She knew I was super excited for this. Come on now. Let's get the music going. There it goes. Rebel Galaxy. What is Rebel Galaxy? Well, it's a space open world sort of RPG that's a space western. I'm talking like, like, here we go, here we go. Like Firefly space western. Oh, yes. So this is going to be fun with one of the most kick-ass soundtracks I've ever heard in, this, in a, one of these games. So, let's get started with new game. I haven't played any yet of the release build. This is the uh, pre-release, comes out this month on the 20th. Early access build. Oh crap, I gotta Six pull up my... Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over 10 years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. <laughs> she practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars. Thieves. Lars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. Nice. I dig it. Real Firefly feel to it. Hold E. Ah, there you are. You're on ask me to keep an eye out for you and see you've found our old ship. Bring it onto the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. All right. Well, I can't see my YouTube chat, so let me pull that sucker up real quick. Let's get started. Well, first, who are you? I'm Orzu, an old friend of your aunt's. Back in my younger day, wilder days. Okay. Now I own the bar here, and life is a bit quieter. I see. Well, I guess I'll have a... Have a look after I dock. In the conversation, let's go ahead and dock up. So how do we dock? Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're gonna want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Tap E to increase your throttle 25% increments, and then Q to reduce it. A and D to steer. Now, that's pretty easy. I, I vaguely remember the controls from when I did the first impressions, but I haven't played it since then. Uh, next, you want to dock the nearby station. Use the mouse to look around. Fly close enough. Okay. Everything was like hold E in this. I remember that. So there's our ship. What was it? The Rasputin is what he said it was? It's it's seen better days. Definitely seen better days. I can turn. Port and starboard. There we go. And then what was it? E to go forward? Let's 
or sublight. This is like impulse engines. Where's my speed? My speed is in the top right hand corner, so I'm going half my max velocity. Here's full speed. See the engines kind of kick it on. It looks good. Control is command. Oh man. All right, well, we'll get to that part of the tutorial. Let's go ahead and dock up. Hold E to dock. Buy a turret. The Rasputin has two turret mounts, but only one turret installed at present. It's a good idea to visit the equipment bay, enter the weapons section, to purchase a new scattered turret to install your beta turret mount. In your beta turret mount. Alright. You can get different types of ships in this. They've got the solar system with which we're in, and then there's even a bigger area, and I'll show it on the map. Um, before, you couldn't leave that first area. That was like the preview copy that I had, but now they've opened it up. Um, before we visit the bar, let's go to the equipment bay. Weapons... Broadside, secondaries, beta turret. We got an alpha turret, and he said pick up a scattered turret. 750 credits. The scattered turret fires steel projectiles at an extremely fast rate and velocity with limited accuracy. It suffers from slightly diminished shield penetration. Okay. There's an upgraded version of it, but it's considerably more expensive. Doesn't look like it has a, a visual difference. All right, let's buy it. Well, before we buy it, how much money do we have? We have 250 credits, but I guess because it's part of the tutorial, I'll be able to buy it. So, oh, I already bought it. Now install it. Mark one scatter turret installed on the ship. Oh, the music for this is so good. So good. Shaq, is this going to be on the XP Gamers channel? Yes, it is. I'm actually streaming this to YouTube directly, so it'll get processed right away and it'll go up on the channel. All right. Let's see what else we got here. They got defense upgrades, hull shield, and deflectors. We don't have a deflector. Deflectors can be triggered to temporarily absorb excess damage. Oh, I remember this. So when you get a deflector, it's on a charge, and you can nail it right when you're about to take, let's say, a broadside or a bunch of missiles. So we don't need that right now. Uh, we got to go to the bar. Visit the bar. Meet Orzu. Ah, my, you're the spitting image, Juno. Good to see you. So, where is my aunt? She's supposed to meet me here. To be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She, she was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Well, why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give you, give to you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? All right, well then what'd she give us? She called it a specter, although I doubt that's its proper name. Juno mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote, whatever the hell that means. Can I see it? There you go. Oh, it actually shows it in his hand. I dig the animations of the characters. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to go find her. That's the Rasputin parked in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that ship was a worthy, or since that thing was a worthy ship. What do you mean? It's a fine vessel. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam. That whole plating is like paper. And to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. Salt in a man's ship. It's not cool. Uh, any suggestions then? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off into your inevitable doom. Can't afford to let it. I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something you can help me out with in exchange. Of course, you've got a job for me. I've got a shipment of Greel whiskey coming in. My supplier. Can I just keep it? My supplier, however, seems to have gotten my, himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment, and if you can make the exchange, I'll have something for you when you return. All right, sounds like a deal. Excellent, here's $500 for the payoff and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, and you'll get squared away. And I'll have some more information for you as well. Alright, let's do this. So we gotta go pick up some whiskey. We gotta, gotta meet up. He, <laughs> I guess he's gotten himself in a bit of a scrape, and he can't come into the station, so I gotta go meet him. Let's see what's the chat saying. Imperial Productions. I'm sold. I'm getting this game. Shaq, what games are you going to be playing in this live stream? Just Rebel Galaxy, Ethan. If this game, this is the review copy. This is the game I've been waiting for for a long time now. So, all right, let's bail. I noticed there were mission boards on there. I should have had a look around. Navigation. Missions are marked as gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Adjust your heading to point toward the destination. As you move further away from large objects, you'll accelerate to sublight speeds. And warp capability will become available. Warping allows you to navigate vast distances quickly. Uh, use your stellar map by pressing control. Alright, cool. So, 
Control opens up my wheel. Well, what I can do here is our mission's out that way. Listen to that music. It's so good. Can you guys hear the music all right? We're going to increase sublight. We got to go 9,000 meters, though. So, we're going to engage our warp drive. Let's move out. Here we go. Nice. Oh, I dig that. I can still rotate the camera. Get a good look at my my ship, the Rasputin. All right, get ready to come out of warp. 400 meters. 300. Risk low. I like that it gives you the risk. Because I got myself into so much trouble in the earlier version of this, and I don't think it gave you the risk management. That music. Here we go, pulse scanning. So this is the scanning mechanic the game has. Use your pulse function, hold control and that wheel, to detect distant objects and resources, and to be notified of bounties and scan range. You can be a bounty hunter in this. Missions, mission important icons will be marked with an exclamation point to indicate their status. Hostile and friendly targets will appear in red and blue diamonds. Cargo or valuables will appear as purple diamonds. Non-piloted mission objectives will appear as gold diamonds containing a question mark. Asteroids containing harvestable resources will have gray. That's right, you see gray like everywhere. So let's do a little scan. Pulse scan. Well, we're picking up a whole lot of nothing. Except for maybe the objective. Now there's our friendly target. Can I target things? I guess they haven't explained that to me yet. Let's hail him. Hail the target. Hey there. Or as you send you. Got my payment. Yeah, I need to balance the audio. Game sound, they had it cranked. Which I get it. Yeah, here's the cash. Pleasure doing business with me. Send over the whiskey. Mission. Fantastic. Well, that's the mission. The Easy milk run. Can we just get hit by lightning? Get the hell out of here. Accelerating faster than light travel in three, two, one. And we're rolling. So while we're rolling out, I'll show you guys the map. Here's our sector map. I can hold shift and show you guys. Well, here's the actual sector map. These are all the different sectors you can go to with a bunch of different planets and things to explore. Here's your solar system map, I guess. And then we can exit out of that back into the actual game. Zooming down onto my mighty vessel. Hey, Cody, welcome to the stream. Just coming out of warp now. Yeah, Wolfman, this music is fantastic. All right. They also have an option, I have to say this, in the uh, in the boot menu when you first go to load the game. It's like, hey, what's your graphic settings? What do you want? It also has a custom music option. So you can load up your own music into the game and just listen to it as you play. All right, let's stock up. Removed cargo, whiskey. Oh, my whiskey. He jerks. Who's the bar? Excellent. Many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here. You can have a deflector or a tractor beam. Deflectors are excellent in defense and combat, and of course, you'll need a tractor to bring in objects the Rasputins hold. Wait, I have the choice between not dying and loot? Hmm. I'll take the tractor bin. Fine choice. I'll have my men transferred to Rasputin right away. So, what about my aunt? Yeah, of course. But I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor. What'd I just do for you? Given how deftly you handled the exchange. I can sail in a straight line pretty damn well. Uh, well, alright. Tell me about the job. What do you got? It's a simple matter. I have some items at a remote storage location. And given their contents, it would be best if they weren't discovered by any interested parties. I need them disposed of, at no real risk to you. Eh, I guess I could do that. Perfect. Here's the relevant information. Destroy the containers however you see fit, and I'm sure it won't take but a moment. So this, I assume, is the tutorial, and there was an option in that conversation for me to be just be like, nope, I'm out, no thank you. Notice there's a higher mercenary option. Name's Garrus. I hear you're looking for someone who can fly. Is that the case? Hi, Garrus. Will you calibrate my weapons? You're also really expensive. I can afford you, though. 11,500 credits. When did I get so much money? What sort of ship do you fly? I got one of those military-grade Durham gunships. She's fast, and she's mean, and she's reliable. Good to know. <laughs> Omega. Oh, yeah, we can hear the music, and the firefly feels real. Indeed. So I put my brown coat on. 
Uh, maybe some other time. I'm not gonna waste money on you because what I wanna do, there's a news board. Tech boom, a scientific boom at Zuru, Zuru City has resulted in a surplus of high quality tech gear. Convoy inbound, a massive convoy has left the cusp laden, the Katasi cusp laden with trade kinda. Okay, so if you're a, uh, a pirate, you could totally check out these news bits. Tech boom if you're a trader. Very cool. All right, let's leave the bar. Let's get back to the shipyard. Now, Dave, I could rename my ship. Let's rename the ship. Um, let's do the Endurance. I like it. I got the Hammerhead. There's the Mastodon. Mastodon, oops, Mastodon is a consumer version of the popular Militia Frigate. Features four broadside, oops, four broadside mounts, two secondary ports, and three independent turrets. Nice. I see, these are the ships that were in the original. Except for the Scarab. What? Is a turret-focused light frigate with seven mounts, but a meager three broadside ports. Heavier hull cladding, a large hold, and high maneuver really makes this a unique offering. I'm thinking maneuverability would be really cool, but oh. Getting something like the Vanguard would be legit. Look at this. Seven broadside ports. Uh, commonly see the malicious service, a sturdy, reliable craft. This is just what's at this port. And the Manticore. What the hell are you? Well-armed destroyer. Densely clustered turrets and close position broadsides. While not exceptionally nimble, its grace belies its looks. And four secondary porn significant weapon options. Three million credit. Four million credits. Nope. I got 11,000. I think I got a ways to go first. How much is this? It's 20 bucks? That's not bad at all. Well, the commodities market, mission boards, visit the bar depart station. Let's look at the equipment bay. Got a little bit of money on me. Let's see if I could pick up a deflector they were talking about. I can get a Mark I deflector. Totally worth it. Install. Like I was saying, the deflector allows you to kick it off so you can block damage that's coming in. Ooh, here's all the cargo holds, jump drives, subsystems. What kind of subsystems can we get? Fault tracker, repair bots, ordnance tracking, nebula mitigation, deflector absorption, turret accelerators, what? I hope there's a lot of stuff in this game. I mean, this is maybe the first station, right? So you think there'd be a ton of stuff. I hope. Hello, Shaq, you sure are beardy. Indeed. That's the space pirate Shaq. I don't know if I'm gonna go pirate. I probably not. That music. So we need to go to warp. I'm not sure if we can get around this planet or if we're gonna go right into the atmosphere of it. We're gonna give it a go though. Let's go ahead, hold W to get our boost on. If you look at the top right hand corner, you can notice me boosting like crazy. How do I kick on my my shield? Ah, there it is. So if I hold down spacebar, I'll kick on my, my deflector, which has got a long, oh, I see. So if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, that's my energy field that's inside the, for the deflector. As I take damage, that energy shield will go down, I'm pretty sure. Exiting sub -like, cause we got too close to the damn Goram planet. Let's get away from the, the mass. You get close to any type of mass and it won't let you go to warp. Now we can though. Time to roll. Try to stay away from that moon right there. So we got risk average on this mission. I thought this was a stress beacon. Coming out of warp. Stress beacon, 36 meters away. Let's pulse. I'm not picking up anything. Gauge warp drive and go see what's up with this uh, distress beacon. I may regret this. I may very well regret this. Oh, no. We got a hostile craft. Let's do another pulse. Come on, man. You want to talk about it? So I can hold down right click and it'll charge up my weapon, let it go and it will do nothing actually. Left click will fire, so right click is aiming. I've got three different weapons on it. I've got turrets. Can I just tell my turrets to do stuff or do I have to switch to them? Probably should have done the tutorial for this. There's my turrets, firing at the gunship. This poor traitor right here is under fire. I'm in range now. Come on turrets, take him down. Sweet, he just paid me 2,000 credits received and I gained some faction points toward the citizenry. I'm a man of the people, I guess. Let's roll. I love this music, it's so good. 
genius idea. So, cleanup operation. He said there wouldn't be a problem. No risk to me. Yeah, I don't believe a word of it. Coming in, six, 60 out. Coming out, hyperspace. And we definitely have a problem. Switch to turrets. I don't really know how to turn my turrets onto auto fire. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh shit, space bar. Oh, I didn't catch it in time. Turret combat, here we go. Your turrets are an important part of combat and are capable of firing at targets your broadsides can't reach. Use three and two to switch between the stations on your vessel. This will allow you to manually control individual turret groups. When controlling a turret group, use the mouse to aim the turret's reticle. When near a valid target, it will snap to the target, allowing you to just wreck its face. It doesn't actually say that, but that's what they mean. Hold left mouse bunter button to continuously fire. You can also alter the behavior of your turrets in the tactical menu using escape. This is escape. Where's my tactical menu? Tactical, here we go. Alpha turret, you are going to not do a damn thing. Oh, here we go, I can rotate through. So, I kind of get the feeling that this would work well with a controller instead of keyboard and mouse, but it seems to work just as fine with a keyboard and mouse. So, let's get into um, any craft, target only, turret only, capital ship only, fighters only. Turrets. Target fighters. Well, you're set to any target. Will you just fire away? Let's find out. Are my turrets firing? No, because I'm on the wrong one. What if I switch to two? All right, here comes a missile. Here comes a missile. And shields up. See how it used up some of my energy there? Turrets are firing on their own. I can fire my broadsides, which is what I just read his face with. I can auto fire him like that, or I can aim it. Get him! Oh, yeah! Ran right into that sucker. Coming about, coming about, coming about. There's our target. Come on, come into range. Looks like I got about a uh, two, two meter range target. Now the universe kind of works on a, oh, I just nailed him with broadside. On a, a 2D map. Sort of like, what's a good example? Well, it operates on a 2D map, so you don't have to worry about going up and down. Everything is, is broadside, kind of naval combat almost, instead of spaceship six degrees of freedom combat. But that's all right. It works out well that the combat is fun so far. Oh shit, that's a rock. All right, we're gonna come in nice and slow. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a scan. Let's do a pulse scan. Wow. So the, remember, the diamonds, I've just discovered this place, so I just got money for discovering it. The diamonds are resources that I could mine if I had the gear to do so. I don't know a lot about mining though, so. We'll have to figure that one out. There's our objective right there. It's a wreckage field, it's also. Oh, we just took, we just took a lightning strike. You can absorb more damage by holding down your deflector. We need to get the hell out of here. Uh, most of the damage will be absorbed, right. We just lost our starboard shield. Now, if you can see on my mini-map, I don't actually know how to pick that stuff up. But uh, you see on my mini-map, I've got shields in every direction. How do I, how do I use my, oh God, it just hit me again. Can I just run into it? Oh, don't run into it. Oh, he wanted it destroyed anyways. That was the mission objective. Not to collect, to destroy. So let's charge up the weapons. Hmm, we're outside. It's better than using my face. Probably gonna have to pay for repairs now because I rammed that. We're outside these suckers. I don't really even have to aim that, just fire. All right, let's get out of this nebula before it die. That nebula effect, that's new. Collision warning. Collision warning, I'll be fine. Oh, man. What the hell? That's why the music kicked on, we got incoming. Ready the broadside. Let's give him a taste. Come on, a little bit closer, pal. Oh, I don't care, I'm going in. Now you can't be afraid to run in this game because it actually gets really hard. If it's anything like that early alpha version that they gave me, it gets rough fast. And you will find yourself, like I am, I am right now, getting my ass kicked. Keep firing, keep firing assholes. So I've taken down his left, his port side shield. I'm gunning it. I'm gonna come up next to him. Where are you going? You're not running. Oh, don't let it run. I'm catching it up, I'm a little bit faster. No, no, you're not allowed to run. Oh, come on, use that boost, use that boost. Let's cut right across as he's starting to turn. All right, I wanna get on his left-hand side, that's where his shields are weak. 
No, not anymore. Turrets are already opening fire. Got him set to any ship. Opening up with my cannons. Now I'm using the charged up shots. He's already lost his shields. Breaking through the hull. Oh God! I gotta watch where I'm going. Back up, back up. I'm stuck on the rock. Ow! Ah, uh, that'll buff out. That'll buff out. It's fine. Where are you going? I want to kill you. Come back. I bet there's a bounty on your head. I can scan for a bounty, actually. Let's do a pulse scan. Doesn't tell me what it's worth. I wish it would when I did the scan. That would be nice. Oh, you're not getting away. He just ran into that asteroid. He got caught in between two of them. Boom! Thank you for the 3,500 credits. Appreciate it. Drinks are on you. Alright, let's get out of the mass field so we can get out of here. And get paid. Now I don't know. Do I want to go heavy with like super broadside cannons? Or do I want to go for like a fast frigate? That could be a lot of fun. The rocks are striking you with lightning. Yes, they are. It's a pretty nasty nebula. Come on. Almost ready to go. Get into warp. I like that the combat music kind of kicks on. Right as soon as you get into it. It's so fitting and it kicks on. And then you get this this low uh, acoustic guitar twang to it. That's good stuff. This game's going to be a lot of fun. A couple of friendly gunships. The world is populated. You'll see convoys moving around. You'll see pirates doing operations. You'll see pirates trying to pirate people. And you can jump into the middle of the fight. I've seen, and this is all the alpha, so God knows what's in this version of it. Come on out of heart. There you go, out of warp. Interstellar mass. Rust city. Stock up. See the bartender. Go heavy, go heavy. Heavy, Shaq. Everybody wants me to go, like, just battleship. Full on. Go heavy or go home. <laughs> Wolf says. <laughs> do the ships drop cargo? I believe they do. And that's why I needed that uh, that tractor beam, which I still have to figure out how to use. But let's talk to our contact. You're so reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for your help. Okay, favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end. Yes, yes, of course. Well, if you want to track Juno down, I think most likely bet is to speak with Sander, her um, partner. Partner? Well, how much do you know about your aunt's um, activities? I know she's a hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. Well, that's one way to look at it. Most folks would call it smuggling, though, and Sander moved, to, moved the goods for her. You should try and get in touch with him. He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. I'll mark it on your chart. Thanks. Alright, so I've got a contact now. Let's, um... I kind of want to see where we're going. Let's look at the, that's the news board. We want the news board. Bartender, leave the bar. Let's look at the commodities market. I just want to take a poke around. So if you're into trading, you can go full on trading, buy yourself a bunch of cargo holds, fill your ship with them, and move goods back and forth. I'm not sure if you could have multiple ships so you can swap out and do kind of whatever you feel like doing. Um, Antimatter spec, gold ingots. I assume gold means the price is really good for the average. Or the price is just good. Versus this one. I like the graph that it shows you. It shows you how it's changing over time. You'll have news articles that'll change what something is worth. So if you say like, uh, so and so planet needs water real bad. You can actually bring water out there. And make a killing. Interesting. Like ceramic plating. If I knew a place that produced ceramic plating, I'd probably make a killing. Metal ore. Which is shit right now. So let's see, what do they actually got? They got a lot of intellectual property. <laughs> intellectual property, we order by the ton now. The item is commonly exported to Stacy Station. They tell you, they tell you too. What, what place were we going? Let's look. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to depart station just to look, aren't I? Yeah, well. See where we're going, see if we can move a little bit of cargo that way. Uh, 
<laughs> this needs more DACA, I agree. Well, let's continue with the tutorial before I start doing any train runs. I don't want to spend any of my money just yet. I wonder how big of a fleet you can get. Like, I can hire that gunship as a as a co-pilot or as a uh, as a wingman, right? Let's go ahead and gun it. I'm gonna hold the button down and don't just drift. Oh no, no I'm not. W is forward. This is my speed. I can't remember that. Accelerating to sublight. Accelerating to sublight. Engage warp drive. USG, I don't have keys to give away, man. Sadly. I wish I could. Maybe I can ask the devs about it, see if I can get some extra keys, give them away in a stream. That'd be fun. Depends on how many thumbs up and views we get for this, because then I can use that and be like, look, I got a lot of people watching the stream, got a big numbers. Um, I can you know, get the word out there, but I need some keys to give away during the stream. Then maybe we might be able to pull something. I'll have to see how this video does once it goes live. And I can shoot them a message, see if they're down for it. Stress beacon detected. Come out of warp. I'm gonna help them out. I'm gonna be a good Samaritan. That may pay me. <laughs> Let's roll. Here I come to save the day. It was a trap. It's a missile corvette. Threat level. Oh shit, shields up. Ah, that took out half my damn shields. Charging and opening fire. Come on, cannons. All right, he's just a corvette. We might be able to get him. He's actually wreck wrecking our little shields. Shields! Nice. Where are you going? Oh, no, don't run. Don't run. You started this with your bullshit. Now come here. I'm finishing it. Shields! I'm gonna gun right for him. Let's see if we can ram his ass. First, we gotta knock his shields down, though. We gotta make it worth it. Turrets are online. So close. Who needs to aim? Shields. Take him down, take him down, take him down. We're starting to do hull damage. Let's charge up the shots. Oh, look at the damage. When you charge, you actually do more damage. You got this more accurate. Here they come. Ah, damn it. I'm not getting those shields back up. Where are you going? Don't run. Don't run. Oh, shit. Ow. I don't know why I turned on my deflector there. Come on, turrets. Get it done. One more, one more, one more broadsides. Get a shot off. Damn, use that up a bit more. He's fast. Damn it. Come on, what are you doing? Gotta close that gap, gotta close that gap. I'm back in range of my turrets. Keep his shields down. Now he's tur- Oh, you're turning the wrong way. Fire, fire. And pay me. Boom! Let's do a pulse scan, see if there's anything in this field. Accelerating to sublight. Use analyze. Scanner. Oh, here we go. Scanner. I guess there's nothing here to loot. Let's see what else we got. Closest uh, closest station, sector map, closest mission, pulse scan, and then map. And then there's my faction standing right here on the right. So the citizens are starting to like me a little bit more. Don't know what happens. To analyze nearby ship for information on their cargo. Scan them with the scan interface tab. So that, and this actually pauses the game when you go into the scan interface. So next target I see, we're gonna try that. See what they're worth before we get into a fight. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is that over there? I'm picking up hostiles. Must have been passing by. All right, let's go to warp. Let's roll. Is this music yours or in the game? It reminds me of Firefly. This is actually in the game. Drada. This comes out the 20th of this month for everybody who's been asking. Why did I not ram him? It was too hard to keep up with him, and I kind of forgot when I got close enough. I should have rammed him, but I can't too. Primary mission, track down Sander. Just about there, looks like an asteroid field coming up. Or a space station. Pop out a warp. Take a poke around. Slow down. Katasi 
cusp outpost. Now during the alpha of this, when I was testing it out, I actually came into a station that was under attack by pirates. So the turrets were going crazy, the pirates were showing up with large ships. I'm not sure if the pirates can take over the station or if they can destroy the station. And that kinda had me questioning, can I take over a station? That would be cool, but let's visit the bar. Different people at the bar, I like it. Meet Sanders. Hi. Do we know one another? <laughs> That's rude. No, but apparently you know my aunt. I might, I might not, that depends. Depends on what. Well, I mean, I do know her. I'll have to check around for her whereabouts, of course. And while I'm doing that, you can do a little something for me. You want me to bribe you? Think of it more like a fair exchange. Tit for tat, I think they say. There's a certain double jack captain who's been making my business difficult. And I'd like to end that. You mean end him? Okay. So, not a bribe, but dirtier. What an improvement. Trust me, he's a rather unwholesome fellow. You're going to do the entire sector service. That eh, doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Let's do it. Excellent, I'll transfer the coordinates. Come find me when you're finished. I have something else for you by then. All right. Let's pick up a mercenary. Name's Garrus. I hear you're looking for someone who can fly. Garrus, are you following me? What sort of ship do you fly? I got one of those military-grade Durham gunships. She's fast and she's mean and she's reliable. <laughs> Good to know. Aren't you a little old to be a mercenary? Um, yeah, let me ask him. That's the look of experience, kid. Anybody who lives this long knows a thing or two. Just ask, and aren't you convinced me? I'll hire you on. Here's your 1,600 credits. Good to be working with you, kid. Let's blow this joint. You bet. It's rock and roll. So we're leaving. I think we're going to be a bounty hunter. A ship, a fleet lead would be amazing. I don't know if you can have a fleet, though. But you can have one guy, at least. Um, there's missions board, too. But I want to do more of this tutorial before we start doing missions and trying out the, the sandboxy elements of the game. Uh, depart station. So where's our, our buddy? Is that him? He's in behind us in the orange. Hey, Garrus. Now, with control, can I... Maybe tab? Not tab. Escape? Oh, here we go. Garrus. And I can set his, his priority target. So I can be like, go after fighters or capitals only. Uh, you go after any craft you want. But you better keep up with me. Ship. My weapons, I can look at my secondaries. I don't have a secondary weapon. And I got my mission log. Okay, cool. My cargo hold, system information. Let's roll. We are heading out. I keep using boost instead of using impulse. We are heading out to dirty business. We're gonna take this guy out. He's a high risk target. What's a secondary weapon? If I got my primary, which is my broadside, I've got my turrets. Is a secondary like missiles maybe? I'll take rockets or something would be cool. What kind of customizations can we get? Customization can we get for our ships? Can I be a carrier pilot? That would be neat. Try like, drop fighters out? I got all kinds of questions about this game. When we're at that station, since we're gonna go back in a second, I'll check to see if there's any other ships for sale at that station and if there are other modules we haven't seen before. All right, about to come out of warp now. I'm in the Sheila belt. Dead John. Well, at least he's ahead of his time. All right, Garrus, let's do it. Incoming hail. What do you want? I figured someone like you might show up. Who sent you? Sandar? Morgan? Talks over taste plasma. Sandar, if you wanted to know. That little toad can't be paying you much. Look, this is gonna go bad for you. Pay me 800 credits and I'll make myself scarce. And you can tell Sandar whatever you want. Or I could kill you. Collect on the bounty. It's your funeral. Let's try the scanning option real quick. So we can lock target with E. We can scan it. Oh, it lets me zoom in. So I'm scanning this jack fighter. That's actually really cool looking, but not our target. 
There he is, dead John. Scanning, he's got a Corvette. He's hostile, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a bounty. And his cargo is nuts and bolts. So you can scan the cargo before you decide to pirate it. If you're, you know, going piratey. Kinda cool. Um, tab to exit, let's get into the fight. Go! All right, this has gotten really real, really fast. Charging weapons. Shields! Got all those deflectors. Threat level is moderate. Hey, maybe he'll hit a rock or something. All right, starting to fire off my rounds. Deflector online, stop those missiles from coming in. I wonder if I can get my, because they look like they're targetable. I wonder if I can get my turrets and like set a turret to missile defense. You see Garrus over there flying around him. He's the orange dot on my radar, which that's him right there. Oh, you're not going anywhere, pal. Sadly, ah, I didn't turn on my shield long enough. Let's go ahead and let him shoot at a different side. Got some turrets, too. Yeah, my, my firing arc on my broadside is a little weak. Incoming. His rear shields are down. He's out of range, shit. Let's boost toward him, close the gap. Get him, Garrus. Shields. Garrus was a good choice. He's wrecking his face. He's also taking most of the hits now, too. Except for those missile shots. What do you mean that's a kill? Oh, Garrus says that's a kill. All right, target's down. Let's clean it up. Switching over to my turrets. Come on, Devil Jack's dead. Surrender and I might let you live. First W to engage rocket boost. Let's do that. Looks like my turrets have a fairly close range. So I can actually control the turrets. You can see me spinning them around here. But once you get them close enough, they'll actually lock onto the target. Makes it pretty easy to aim them. All right, full speed ahead back. Let's collect those nuts and bolts. Press W to engage rocket booster. Don't really want to do that. What I want to do is I want to collect the cargo. Now, how do I do that? Exiting sublight. Exiting sublight. There's my cargo. All stop. Full stop. Uh, hold E to tractor beam. So all I gotta do is look at it. Yoink. All right, Garrus, where are you at? You ready to go, man? Scanner. Target locked. Scanner. Let's see what his ship looks like. Oh, check that thing out. I'll be honest, I kinda wanna fly that. Do I always have to have one of these big ships? Cause I want one. I want one, I want a, I want a fighter. All right, all right, focus. So, let's take off the scanner, just to fly around with a little bit, you know, get some missiles on it or something. Let's kick on the engines. Like, have a wing of gunships, that would be cool. Don't know if it's possible, though, so don't get me wrong. Engage number one. Like, how does mining work in this, too? Because that asteroid field, I probably could have scanned it and seen what resources were there. Logos! Thank you for subbing to Hitbox. I appreciate that. It keeps me going. And for everybody who's showing up on the stream, uh, if you're not aware, my name is Captain Sheck. I host the channel The XP Gamers. I do a lot of space sim and sci-fi stuff, and my channel is specifically there to help support the modding community. So I do a lot of mod spotlights when and if I find them. I've covered all the most of the major mods, especially for the sci-fi community. Uh, but yeah, if you like sci-fi and you like space sims, Star Citizen, all that jazz, I recommend you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come out of hyperspace. I recommend you come out of hyperspace and subscribe to the channel. That's my spiel. Now, we're back at the outpost. Look at this outpost. This is legit. You know what I need to do? I need to figure out how to turn off my UI. Something that I do in every game I play is I figure out how to turn off my UI because I love looking at the artwork that people have put so much time and effort into making. Um, bum, 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 bum. Well, I don't know if it's an option. It should be. If it isn't, this is definitely something I'm going to put into my response email back to the devs. Um, Alright. Oh, well. It's probably an option, but they didn't put it down in, in the list for making trailers and stuff. Uh, I can scan it. Can I scan asteroids? I can. Outpost. Let's go ahead and scan yeah. the outpost. It's a neutral outpost, no bounty, and it actually has a cargo inside it. Four gold ingots, ten bio waste. Ew. 
And zero live organs. Oh man. Alright, let's go ahead and dock up. Get paid. When are you gonna do more Space Engineers? The second I can get everybody together for it. If you're talking about the RP series. If you're just talking about Space Engineers in general, uh, I do it pretty randomly. All right, visit the bar. Speak to Sander. Oh, excellent. It's good to know that you can keep up your end of a bargain. Yeah, and can I say the same thing about you? Of course, of course. I'm a creature of my word. Found a new lead. It turns out Juno was meeting with one of the militia captains on the sly. Why would she be doing that, and where is she now? I don't know, on either account, but there's a militia toady who owes me a favor. What's her name, and where can I find her? Her name is Zenya Kerr, a lieutenant, I think. She's undoubtedly one of those endless patrols. I suppose I could arrange a meeting, but it'll take some time. Okay, what do you want me to do till then? Well, as I understand it, you have Juno's little babble? Bobble? Yes, perhaps I could take it off your hands so you can use the cash to patch up that old rust bucket. What do you say? Well, why don't you tell me what it is first? Why do you want it? I'm sure I don't know, but I deal in... I'm sure... I'm sure I don't know, but I deal in conventional. I doubt you have any use of it. Uh, Alright, so it's a worthless trinket, so he says. Yeah, I, I think I'll ask Juno about it before I just give it away. Very well. Why don't you go bother or Orzu again until I contact you. So, he's got a job for me, but before we run off... Let's look at the... Missions. Equipment bay first. I wanted to see if they had anything special. What can I get for secondary? Oh, we can pick up a flat cannon, short range concussive blast, effective against fighters, and incoming missiles. There's the missile defense I was wondering about. We could also get just, I can get a flat cannon too. I can get the upgraded one. Or I could get a missile launcher, look at that. Launched broadside, dumb fire missiles have no homing capability, but can be devastating when brought to bear on a nearby capital craft. All right, or we could get missiles. Launch broadside. Heat-seeking missiles independently track multiple targets, but cannot be explicitly locked. So they'll go after whatever. Um, that's kind of cool. Mines. What? Magna mines are magnetically, attra magnetically attracted to nearby enemy capital ships and detonate on contact. 16 mines per port. Mines. What's the damage? 150? What about a missile? 200, though, for a missile. 200 for a missile. The mines, they say 16 mines per port. Does that mean I get 16 in my cargo bay? Does that mean I drop 16 when I fire them? I don't know. And then EMP flak, probably good against taking out shields, I bet. Short range concussive blast, which disables fighter craft caught in the resulting EMP wave, running them inoperable for five seconds, and reduces shield recharge rate by 30%. That sounds very utilitarian. I like that. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh, can we see the... Yes, um, Ronald Robinson. We can see the shipyard right after I get us some weapons. So we'll get hooked up. Um, I kind of want to go missiles. Am I crazy? I want to go missile. Yeah, let's try the missile launcher. Install and let's see some of the other components real quick the, the beta turret. Can we upgrade her yet? No, we just spent the money for it We could get a pulse turret though the double-barreled pulse turret fires two projectiles at once This weapon is moderately effective against all targets in defense and offense is good long-range effectiveness Ooh, What's a swarm turret missile turret? I can go full ham on missiles. What are shield busters? I'm getting excited now. There's a lot of cool shit here particle laser cannons mining laser there you go for all the people who want to be, uh, live on the, the, the quiet side. Be a miner. Pretty sweet. Um, did that just pop up in the stream? That somebody followed on Hitbox? Not sure if I've got it set up properly. I had it set up a second ago, now I don't. There we go, now it'll show up. So if anybody drops a tip or um, hits follow on Hitbox or a subscribe button, it'll now come up on the stream. Sorry that wasn't on earlier. It would have let me know if somebody had dropped one though, so I would have read your message. 
Uh, what do we got? Leech turrets. What the hell is a leech turret? Leech turret fires individual leech rockets, which upon impact impair the speed of their target by 40%, so they can't get away. Probably a pirate's option. Because I bet, I bet anything like the haulers try to run. Small fighters affected by leech are rendered completely inoperable. What about, what about? All right, let's just get to the ships. Let's get to the ships. Cargo hold, subsystems. I, uh, ordnance tracking, maneuvering booster. I, I'm so distracted, I want all the things. I want all the things. Let's get to the ships though, I said I would show it off. Uh, shipyard. Mastodon. Now we saw this one before. Scroll through them. Not bad. I like that one. Be my next upgrade. The Icarus. This one's new. This one wasn't on the last place. She's a Corvette. She's very fast. Broadside ports. Turrets. The Icarus is extremely fast with generous broadside capability and excellent hull strength. Two of the four turrets are side mounted for continuous arrangement. Tentuous arrangement. Formidable strike craft with limited hold. Scarab, we saw this one before. We didn't see the Barracuda before. Oh, that looks weird. She's fast, too. Barracuda is the fastest, most maneuverable ship in the quadrant. An excellent escape vessel. Hold side is moderate, but acceleration and speed are peerless. Highly capable strike craft. And then there's the Manticore, which is this big bastard. What is she? She's a destroyer. So we got, here's the classes. Destroyer, Corvette, Corvette, Light Frigate. These are just Corvettes and Light Frigates. We haven't even seen a battleship yet. All right, all right, let's get, let's get back to it. We need to get paid. Um, Let's look at the mission board. Available missions in the area. Dead drop. Seeking independent agent to retrieve a dead drop near some damn place. This package contains critical logistic information. Eh, closed delivery, pays a little better. I've taken on a contract for delivery of clothes. I don't have the cargo space. I haven't bought a cargo container yet. I think I could equip at least one. Eh, let's just go continue the tutorial. Continue the story missions. Oh, I can't see the chat. You got mine shack? Did I really? Actually, I didn't pick up anything. At least I didn't install it. Incoming hail. What's up? How things go with Sander? A bit slippery character, eh? No hard information yet, and I feel like I need a bath. <laughs> yes, well, you'll have to get used to that if you're planning on staying around this sector. That's not why I contact you, however. Have you got some new information for me? It's the specter I handed you. It so happens that I thought of someone who might be able to give you some information on it. Okay, so the AI I'm carrying around. It's a bit of a researcher, I suppose you'd say. Is he a researcher like Sanders, a businessman? Well, let's not quiver over titles. He's eccentric. Let's leave it at that. At any rate, I'm sending you the coordinates of his station where he keeps his lab. I'll check it out. Let's get back into the station, though, because I guess I bought mines and didn't equip them. Equipment bay. Weapons. Oh, I do have mines. They are equipped, too. We need to figure out how to use them then. Guess we're testing the mines. This will be fun. Scatter turret. Broadsides. Broadsides. Turret. That's it. Broadsides. That's all we got. Broadsides. Oh, Scatter shift. Turret. I got 64 of them, so there's a limited number. Interesting. All right. Engine Go ahead. Off. Full impulse. Garrus, we're moving out. Let's roll. Let's return to broadside. broadside. Let the turrets do their own thing. Take a look at my ship real quick. Can we actually see the mine launcher? Accelerating to no, we can't. We can see the two turrets, though. I got one under the nose in the front, and I've got one centered on the back. Gauge warp engines. Is there something on the plants, or are they useless? I don't know. I haven't tried yet. And we're rolling. Can we look at the map while we're doing this? I assume we can. Map. Stellar map. What's our location on this thing compared to how I scroll around? Oh, there we go. W D W A S and D. Now I am located. Where the hell am I on this map? Is this me? Yeah, that must be me. I guess I'm not moving while this is going. I made a custom waypoint. How do I remove it? 
I don't know. Ah! All I can do is place it. Clear waypoints X. Or I can just read. So there's our map. What are these? Improvised mining outpost, pirate outpost, pirate outpost. I wonder if I can clear out all the pirates. It'd be fun. All right, zoom back in on our ship. We're on the move. Seven thousand out from the target. Check. I'd get flak when you get room. Yeah, it might be good for the defense, taking out those missiles that come in. Alexander, I'd watch say that in public. You're not supposed to talk about it. If you're in it. How was the game so far? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Quite a bit of fun, actually. I'm doing the uh, the story missions right now. I haven't done any of the just the random stuff going on in the universe, kind of exploring and stuff. All right, get ready to come out of. Don't come out of warp. Actually, it tells you right there on the bottom. I almost said hyperspace. Too much Star Wars. No such thing. Almost there. So you can tell. Whoa! We got enemies. Before we continue with the story, I want to be the good Samaritan that I am and respond to this distress call. Now, I've had two distress calls so far. The first one, pirates were attacking this poor sap. Which looks like that's what's going on here. Hello, traitor! Scared. Let's see if we can hail him before we get into a fight. What can I do for you? Anything I can do to lend a hand? I'm doing all right, but thanks. Get her do business. Yeah, we can do business. What'd you I have can buy mind? stuff. I can buy meat from him or her, and I can buy nuts and bolts. I can sell my nuts and bolts. Here, take my nuts and bolts. With, yeah, we can do business. Thanks for buying my. Oh, I can tell her to drop her cargo. Safe nope. Jump into the fight. Let's do it. I got your back. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's go out there and let's. I know the ship's right behind us. Pulling away. And let's drop some mines. Shift. Mines away. So that's how those work. Our turrets have already opened fire. Garrus is opening fire. We got the traitor over there firing away. Let's turn on some, some of our deflectors here. And now let's let's give him some broadsides. Eat it! Oh shit, my starboard shield, my right shield is down. Hard to port, hard to port, hard to port. I'm gonna turn on my my deflector. Charge it. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh man, I really wish I had that flat cannon now. Drop some more mines, whoops. Mines out. We're making a minefield. Oh, it looks like that mine hit him. Did you just ram me? Come on, turrets. Sweet, just got paid 2,000 credits and I got some faction points. Hey, don't run into my mines. Uh-oh, we should leave before she hits my mines. I think the mines are more capital ship weapons, sadly. Gauge warp drive, get turned around. Maybe we'll try out going near this planet, see if we can do anything with it or interact with it. And we're rolling. Oh, I don't know why I just dropped out of warp. Back to warp. The risk is average for just meeting the researcher? Hmm. Yeah, Alex, I know. Very true, very true. Uh, we have arrived. Kind of a cool looking station. Oh, I've got repairs I could make. So, as you take damage, you'll take subsystem damage, it looks like. I remember this now. Costs me 104 to repair everything. But I got paid 2,000 for saving that, that freighter pilot, so. 
Ooh, what do you got in the way of ships over here? If there's any that I don't recognize. There's a straight up frigate. There's the scarab, vanguard, manticore. I really like this vanguard. It's average on speed and maneuverability, but it looks freaking cool. Let's go ahead and, what's in my equipment bay? Refill ordnance. Ah, why did I refill that? I wanna sell it. Weapons, secondaries, I want missiles. Black cans are kinda cool, but no, I wanna I want go missiles. So let's go uh, launch broadside heat seeking missiles infinitely track multiple targets, but cannot target the specific thing you want them to. We're gonna go ahead and buy one of these, 13,000 credits, We're gonna blow all our money on it. There they go, yep, yes. And we've mounted it, and we are set. That's gonna be fun. And let's go visit the lab. I don't know you. What are you doing here? I'm quite busy. Get out. Oh, hold it. Are you the uh, researcher Orzeus was telling me about? Ors, that figures. He never had any respect for anyone's time. I'm Sal. I answer your questions with you. Yeah, sure, I promise. It's about this Spectre device. We were hoping you'd be able to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. I've seen other artifacts like this before. Interesting. I will need to take some time to analyze it. While I do so, you can perform an errand for me and gather some materials critical to my research. What other errand do you got for me? Yes, well, my research requires raw materials, and it seems a fair trade for my expertise. I need about three tons of omnium ore. It's rare, but I know of a few places to source it. So I think I'm about to learn how to mine. Here are the coordinates for a field that contains trace amounts of omnium, and another set for a trade convoy that I know has the material. It's up to you. Okay, so I got three options here. I figure I can go mine it. Just go get it myself. I want to do that, I think, just so I can learn how the mining works. Or I could go to the trade convoy. Two options there. I could trade with them. Or like we just saw a minute ago, I could tell them, drop your cargo. I want the goods. Or we're going to, you know, blow out of the sky. I'm going to test my new missiles on your face. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test out the mining because I want to see how it works. Yes, yes. Whatever. All right, let's get to it. Um, I noticed I got 13,800 credits. Is that because the mines were that expensive when I sold them? Uh, or, oh, wrong one. Equipment bay, weapons. I got my, yeah, I got my turrets. Maybe I'll upgrade my turrets. Like my alpha turret. I could swap it out for a pulse turret. Double barreled pulse turret fires two projectiles at once. Does more damage. Scatter turret. Scatter turret fires two projectiles very fast for velocity, but limited accuracy. Let's do pulse turret. I like it. I like where we're going with this. Yeah, and sell the old one. So I could sell my stuff back to them for a pretty substantial chunk. So now we got a scatter turret and a pulse cannon. And we got pulse cannons on the sides, pulse turret on the front. Let's give it a go. But that costs money, Shaq. I'm just dropping in to say you need to play Angel Fall first. Just watch someone else play it. It looks like you love it. Uh, you know, I played it. I don't know. I'm going to have to play a little bit more. People say that it's, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. But when I played it, I just... Hmm. There's a scatter turret. That's both turrets. You can see the double fire on the top. That's neat. Can I zoom in some more? I should have swapped them both out. I like those turrets better. Those double ones. I bet the scatters are better for taking out fighters, though, because I'm moving away. Anywho, let's go. Let's go mining. This I got 16 missile launchers. Our missiles in my tubes. Let's go ahead and go to warp and see if I can mine without having a mining laser. Since they didn't tell me I needed a mining laser, I'm thinking maybe the mining laser is just better at it, but you can do it with your normal weapons. Stress beacon detected. Oh, somebody's going to get missiled in a second. I mean, I should see what that distress is all about. Hey, Madwiz, welcome to the stream. Whoa, hey there, Chachi. Scan the target. 
Red Devil Cartel, Hostile Corvette, worth 3,800 credits. Time to get paid, boys. Let's do it. Switch into the broadsides. Give me a lock. Give me a lock. It doesn't really matter what I have a lock on. Missiles away. Port shields are already down. Oh, hard to port, hard to port. Oh, good God, they're wrecking me. Like I said before, guys. Oh God, why can't I switch weapons? Switch weapons, switch weapons. I'm getting beat up. Not good. All right, we gotta take out his fighters. That's what we gotta do. Come around, come around. Fire, broadside him. I should have known. It was a trap. Shoot missiles. Somebody fire. Oh my, oh, my starboard side's getting wrecked. I just took another missile. Shield. Oh, there's no shields. Oh no. Firing, firing. I gotta charge it, gotta charge it. Why can't I charge my weapon? No! Oh! Shields and hull on your ship are located around the map display. Yeah, I know. I don't know how my ally, did he just die? Oh, what are the repairs gonna cost me? I didn't save. I didn't save any of that. I don't know, if, is there an auto save? Well, I still have my turret on the top, it looks like. Let's yeah, switch. Yeah, I still have my turret on the top. So it looks like it auto saves every time you dock. And my mission, I got two objectives. I can go mine, and I got Garrus behind me. Fantastic. Or I can go to the traders. We're moving. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. You, you gotta be ready to run. Don't engage if you don't think you can win. I could have turned around right away and gunned it. Universal's a dangerous place. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Nope. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to help. No distress beacon for me. Nah. -uh. I learned my lesson. Almost there. Watch the rocks. Hey there. Got a couple mining tugs out here. Now the question is, how in the hell do we... Hey, 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 hey. Do... There's a bounty detected. That pulse scan just picked up a couple bounties out in the distance. Interesting, not what we're looking for though. What we need, let's do tab, go into the scan mode. Target out there. I don't want to switch to that. Maybe I can't target it. Only targeting ships, maybe? Or I'm not close enough. Let's move toward that resource I'm picking up. Let's do another pulse. Oh, there's a resource right here. I have no idea how to mine stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot something. The hell just rammed me. If you guys refrain from ramming me, that would be fantastic. I'm thinking maybe you do have to have the scanning. You do have to have the um, the mining laser. Full broadside charge. Because when I scan, full scan, mineable resource. Damn. I don't want to have to go buy one, but I want to test it. What's the largest ship class you can get in the game? Not sure yet. I haven't seen it. Hostiles detected out there. It's kind of cool that you can pulse scan and find them. Um, I want to try mining, so let's go get some mining gear real quick. That means we got to go back. So, sector map. No, we don't want sector map. We want local map. Closest station. Closest station is... That's the traders back there. And we're here. Wow, you can really zoom in. Like, I can zoom all the way down into the asteroid belt that I'm in right now. Clear my waypoints. That's a prison? Metro station. Oh, wow. And I just scanned it, so now I can see everything that has inside it. 
pirate lord is sighted in that location. What? Population, whatever. All right, so this looks like it's a uh, status normal. It's a prison, but I should be able to go there still. So I'm locking onto the prison. Let's go check it out. We're gonna go off the beaten path a little bit. Let's get out of our navigation chart. I think that's our prison right there. Custom waypoint. Hold and engage. Mind that shit up. <laughs> there is a destroyer. I don't know about a dreadnought, but I wouldn't be surprised. Nope, 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 nope. I learned my lesson. I'm not going. You can't make me. The first place I explore on my own that's not a mission? A prison. I take you guys to all the nice places. Let's scan the prison. Lock target, scan it. Oh, it's actually got some stuff. Space slaves, nanofiber, designer clothes. Weird. Knock it up. What is a prison cell? Other than space slaves. Shaq try FTL. I played FTL. FTL's a great game. One of the very first voice videos I ever did on my channel was a uh, mod library for FTL. Might have been the first actual mod library on my channel. No, 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 don't get crazy. Let's just look at what ships they've got and then let's swap. Okay, same ones as always, as the last station we were in. That might be a different paint job. Four million, oh. Um, We need gear, gear and equipment. We need... What's that, a component, maybe? We don't have a cargo hold. Huh. Didn't think about that. Weapons. It must be a weapon, then. Secondary weapon. Can I get a mining laser on the secondary weapon? Don't tell me it's the primary weapon. No way. Is it a turret? Oh, God, it might... There we go, mining laser. Oh, I don't want to get rid of my, my sweet looking... No, that's the scatter turret. All right, we're going to get rid of the scatter turret, and we're going to put on a mining laser. Now, can we use the mining laser on a pirate's face? I can just... I can't afford it. I can if I sell the scatter turret. Okay, cool. Um, I can trade in my old one for... This mining laser can be pre can precisely slice asteroids for efficient mineral harvesting, and also effective in combat with shorter range, but shield penetration... But better shield penetration. It does do weapons. It actually works as a secondary turret. Fantastic. And we should be good. I think I got it. No, scatter turret. Scatter turret. Don't want a scatter turret. Want a mining turret. Didn't want to be a mean guy. Want to be a dancer. Yes. Am I good? Mining laser installed on ship. I feel like progress has been made. At Engage engines. Are there any free moddable games with decent graphics? Um, well, most games that are really highly moddable aren't free. So, you gotta at least give the developers something. So, you know, they can pay their bills. Um, let's go to warp. Let's try this again. I believe our mining location, that, that's the traders. We want to go to that asteroid belt. Mining, there we go. Heading out. Do, 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 do. Don't care, not stopping. I learned my lesson last time. Holy shit! That was a pirate fleet. I'm pretty sure that said pirate carrier in that group. Switching the mining laser. Let's test it. There's the mining laser. But before we waste our time with that, stop. I'll stop. Charging up the mining laser. Emergency cooldown. So we've almost destroyed this asteroid. I bet when we break it up, this is when we'll be able to fire. Boom. And then hold to collect. Yoink. There's one. Accelerating to 
Not bad. So that's how mining works in the game, guys. Let's go ahead and do a pulse scan. Get some more resources right over here. Hi. Charge the laser. I can't wait to use this laser on somebody's face. Like, no shit's given. Nothing? There we go. Tractor beam in. I only got one. There is some gear you can get. I saw it in there. That will let you collect more resources when you mine. It takes one of your subsystem slots, which I haven't actually upgraded any of my subsystem slots. They're all empty. Uh, there's some resource over there. I just don't want to get hit by this asteroid. Down, 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 down. Let's do pulse. Ah, there it is. Directly ahead of me. Eyes on target. Good stop. Eat laser beam. I'm a firing my no I'm not. It's over it's overloaded. I'm a firing my laser. I always think of the Titan from Eve when I say that. And resource gather. We gotta have four of these suckers. Oh there we go. Mission complete. Didn't cost me a damn thing. Uh oh. We got a Corian bomber coming in. Eat mining laser of doom! Shields! Shields! Nope, no shielding that. Come on, let me beam him. Let me laser beam him. Oh! Who wants some? Um... Alright, we should probably kick on our engines now because we're being chased by two more of these guys. Laser beam, laser beam. Alright, switch over to my broadsides. Oh, my laser's still firing automatically! And my dual pulses on the top. I actually really like the dual pulses. Look at that damage. Oh, hell yeah. Who wants sub? You guys don't have a bounty. Like, what's... Who the hell are you guys? Lock target and scan. Hostile. No bounty. You're worthless. You're worthless. Get out of here. I need to go, fellas. Wrecking him. Mining tug, thanks for the help. I gotta go now. you think the miners would pay me. Wait, what is that target behind me? Ah, it's just another one of those. Little pirates. Ooh, I just missed a cluster. So you probably want to keep an eye on your mini-map, because like I just passed, there's that pirate fleet again. What's that distress beacon? GG Mining Laser for the win, indeed. Hey, Garrus. Glad to see you're still alive. Warning, proximity alert. I think the planet can be an issue if you get too close to it. I'll have to test that when I have more money. I can't afford to be screwing up right now. Hey, it's five grand. Not bad, not bad. Let's visit the lab, see what he has to say. Excellent. This Omnium will do nicely. The mining Laser is fantastic. No, this device. It really is quite unusual, and I have made some excellent progress. Go on. They call this a spectre, yes? It is apt, because I believe there is an intelligence contained within. And what sort of intelligence? We may never find out. It is only inert because of a lack of power, which it is theoretically capable of absorbing. But centuries of carbon accretion have prevented this. Centuries? And? Well... I have removed the carbon. However, the device has not reactivated. It may be nothing more than junk at this point. Okay, thanks. You just told me that. It's dirty. You cleaned it. Now it still doesn't work. Please do not mention it. It is an interesting item, but I have wasted enough time. Excuse me. In conversation. How much you want to bet that sucker turns on? Randomly, once I undock. Or maybe, like... 10 minutes from now while I'm cruising about lasering people in the face with my mining laser. You know what I should have done? Let's go to commodities real quick. Uh, what was that ore that I sold him? He said it was fairly rare. Obtainium? I should have mined a little bit and brought it back and seen how much it made. 
illegal. There's illegal stuff like bio wastes and narco cola. Pure water. The example that I used, totally legit. I got pure water right here. Antimatter spec. Crystalline asteroid origin, valued mostly for applications associated with certain sexual practices. Okay. Fantastic. You guys are wondering if there's some weird bird noises. It's a beautiful evening now. It was daytime last time I said this. I've got my window open, so. Don't tell me it's an evil AI. Last thing I need is another ulti running around. Yeah. Mission board. What do we want to do? Should we do a mission? Let's check out the mission board. No, you don't need to do equipment bay real quick. Components. I don't have any upgrades to my components. Like, what's my subsystems? Fault tracker. Fault tracker software identifies weak points on mineable resources during a pulse scan. Cracking objects along these faults increases mining yields significantly. So you gotta hit them in the sweet spot, I guess. Repair bot can perform spot maintenance on internal systems, returning them to full function. This process is quite slow, however. That could save me money in the long run. That's also 300,000 credits. Deflection absorber? What? Turn on your shield, your deflector, to recharge your shields. 2.8 million credits. Ugh. Missile optimization. Missile extender. More, more range. Okay. Jump drive not installed. 75,000. Jump drive allows capital sized craft to utilize jump gates for instant inter system travel. What? Can't even afford a box right now to put everything in, though, so we should probably not bother. All right, mission board, what do you got for me? Available missions Militia relief. Urgently request assistance repelling armed attacks near the so and so belt. A reward of 5,600 is offered. Average risk. Or minor protection. Risk is even lower, but I'm going to get paid more. Oh god, not the drill. Yeah, capital size, what does that mean? Is that carriers? I don't know. I don't know. Dead drop. Dead drop's easy. Let's do... Militia relief. That's average. Actually, I like the low risk one. Let's take the minor protection. Uh, we'll be back in an asteroid belt. We can do a little bit of mining and see if we can sell it for some extra cash on the top of that, so... Cool, we got a mission, let's rock out. Since we're at a dead end with our, our AI. Engine Minor protection, maximum. kicking on the engines. Whoa! Language analysis complete. What the juice was that? Contact. Uh, unidentified message, okay. Selecting likely greeting, hello. Uh, who or what the hell are you? And how are you using my ship's computer? Oh, I downloaded that shoddy Asian porn and I got a virus! I am nameless, or I have forgotten my name. My reliquary has become active aboard this vessel, and I have integrated with its simple systems. Simple? What, what are you saying? My ship is simple? I have not interfaced with life support, navigation, or weapon systems aboard this craft. My intention is not to harm. I suppose that's a relief. You mentioned a liquid. It is the device in which I reside. Mm. I have drawn power from nearby sources in order to activate it, but I am confused. My reliquary is incomplete. My function is impaired. I desire information. All that said, I'm not sure I want you integrated into my ship. You need only remove my reliquary from your vessel in order to sever the connection. That power lies entirely with you. Alright, so then what is it that you want? As I have said, my reliquary is incomplete. I am confused. My memory is fragmented. I have reached out to you for help. What could I possibly do to help you? While this vessel's systems are limited, I could utilize them to detect the fragments of my reliquary. In return, I may be able to offer assistance to you. What kind of assistance? It is within my power to improve the function of this vessel. I propose an Sweet. exchange. Help me recover my memories, and I will in turn advance the systems of your ship beyond their operating parameters. Do you agree? We have a deal. 
for now. That is acceptable. I have detected a fragment within this solar system. I am providing you with the approximate coordinates. Although the signal is indistinct, it may be inside a larger mass. I'll investigate when I have a moment. How will I contact you again? You may summon me at any time through the command interface of this vessel. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing. Goodbye. Uh, bye. I'm gonna save. <laughs> what in doubt. The hell are you saving this? I think it's auto. Okay. Minor protection. We're already going full speed. Let's go ahead and jump to warp. And, oh, my hitbox chat didn't update. And we're moving. Oh, I can't do that, Dave. Hello, friendly fleet. How are you? You know what I can do, though? Eh. Stress beacon detected. Nope. Not until I'm a little bit more confident in my ship's capabilities. Okay, this is really far away. Holy shit. This is probably why they're paying me so much. This is like the other side of the sector. <laughs> Will I dream, Dave? Will I? No! You won't dream! You're a goddamn robot! What do you mean you dream? Ah! when I smack Alti in the back of the head. Take a look at my ship. Got my mining laser on the bottom there. Kind of hard to see because we're, you know, going crazy fast. Got my pulse cannons on the top. Can't wait to actually buy a new ship. Gotta have some money for that though. Because I only got to buy the ship, I gotta be able to buy all the weapons and stuff for it. All right, get ready to jump out of hyperspace. I'm here, miners. I heard you had a minor problem. I needed me to dig into it. Wow. Bad puns for the win. Hey guys. Oh, we're not gonna collide with anything. Look at him go. Wait a minute. Oh, stop. We got double jack berserkers. Our boys have already engaged. Lock on target. Missiles away. I don't actually know what my range is for these missiles. Close enough. Easy money. Lock on. Close the distance. Lead your target. Actually, I'll you have to lead your target. Pretty much auto aims for you. You just gotta know your ranges. Let's get that mining laser in range. Oh, not gonna matter. My pulse turrets are taking them down. Moving to engage. Get in there, Gurus. That wasn't even close. Ooh. Slow down for a tighter turn radius. <laughs> Easiest five grand I've made so far. Six grand. Look out, Gears. That'll buff right out. Primary mission, the risk is high. I think we should make some money first. Before we do anything, though, let's um let's give this area a pulse scan. Maybe we can mine something. Mineable resource. Switching Pulse over turret. to my mining. mining turret. I'll stop. Hate stop. this. Can I not hit you? Are you too high? Oh, it's because the asteroid's below me. All right. Let's do another pulse scan. Fire the lazy beam. I'll stop. The music is so suiting for this game. I agree with that. Bring in the metallic ore. Oh, there's still more bits of, oh! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's just, it's just drifting past, everything's fine here. We're all fine here. Not gonna let that float around. Mine that metallic ore up, bring it in. 
Cool. If I had that scanner, I could get even more resources. I'm just gathering this because I can. I might as well bring back something. Not sure if I'll be able to sell it where I'm going or not, but... So we got paid. We don't have to go back to that station. Let's check out the map. No, 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 no. Let's all stop. Not scanner. I want control. Sector map. Not sector map. Oh, man. I want to explore this stuff. There's my... System average is 61 on that metallic ore, and I've only got one of them. Looks like my hole is full. Is that all I got? Is one... One space? One cargo block? It's pretty weak. <laughs> Look out! Move the rock! Run! I forgot how to open the normal map. Closest mission, sector map, closest station. Ah, just straight up map. Here we go. Well, we got a criminal outpost. But they're... Doesn't look they're hostile to me. There's the mining station. Currently has a tech boom. That's what that exclamation point is. So I could probably buy technology bits fairly cheap over there. Um, not looking to do any trading right now, though. So let's, um... Let's head over to the trade hub. It's fairly close to here. Agrarian outpost. Which is having a tech boom. It's kind of weird. Wouldn't have, like... A high yield crop or something. Yeah, let's go over to the trade hub and see what it's got. Bureaucratic station. I noticed that not a lot of these give me commodities in stock and price. Like, I've never visited this, and it says on the right-hand side. So there is a bit of reason to explore. The more places you've been, it'll tell you what all the items inside are worth. Kind of cool. All right. So let's go ahead and escape. We got our objective. Let's get out of this asteroid field. Get us another mission, Garrus. Who has a um, star next to him now. Does that mean he's getting better? Is he gaining experience or something? Accelerating Switch over to my broadside cannons. Gauge warp drive. We're rolling. Can't do a ping scan while I'm flying. Reading the chat. Are there faction ships? I'm not sure, Nexus. Nex Menace. I have no idea. I assume there are. And there's certain ships that you can buy that are only located in certain places. I mean, why wouldn't they do it? Ballad. You know what's going on? Thank you so much for the $5 yeah, tip. Tip for the music. <laughs> for playing the jukebox. You're very welcome. Thank you for supporting the stream and the channel. Music is so chill. Four thousand out. And I think once we get oh, this is the objective. Oh stop! Oh stop! We're not going to the high risk objective yet. U turn, we went the wrong way, and I want to go to that trade hub. I went toward the gold mission objective, which is the main one and not the waypoint that I created. Passing past the sun again. Check that out. That is so cool. I can't wait to see what the other sectors look like. I hope they're all different. Custom waypoint. Here's the trade hub. See if we can avoid any of the mass pieces of mass. I think when we get here, we're going to take a look at what she's got for sale. Oh, it's an asteroid outpost. That is cool. Got a couple of weapon outposts, or weapon platforms as well. Oh, we're fine. Just because we're coming here at full speed, doesn't mean I'm going to wreck us into something. Check that station out. Dock it up. Docking. Equipment bay. Well, let's refill the missiles. 200 credits aren't too bad for how much we made. Uh, let's see if we got any new weapons here. Like, what other broadsides can we get? Tachyon cannons? Tachyon cannons have limited range, but 
can be fired very swiftly. Excellent for close broadside combat. That seems like my style. Get right up in their face. Mark 1 Proton Cannon. Proton Cannons are designed for extreme range and features enhanced shield damage. The range advantage is balanced by slower aim, however. Um, that would be really good if we had better engines, then we could keep a distance. Shaq, are there going to be Elite Dangerous videos coming soon? If there are, I need to know! I need to know! He says in capital letters. Um, yeah, actually, CQC came out today. This stream was going to originally be the Elite Dangerous stream, but I got access to this, and I've been super excited for this, so... Forgive me for my Elite Dangerous sense, but I really wanted to play this. Uh, no, I don't want to sell you. Alright, cool, Bands. What do you got in the way of ships? Shipyard. Anything different in this particular trade station? Um, it's missing a couple of ships. Scarab looks weird. So weird. Kind of cool. I actually really like this one. This is the frigate. She's also fast and maneuverable, but she looks badass, and she's got six broadside ports. I can go to town with some six broadside ports. Two secondaries, though. Only four turrets. She's got a 20 hold side starting out, though, compared to my hammerhead, which has got 15. That's kind of cool. Anywho. What the hell did we come here for? Oh, a job. We're going to look for a job, and I was going to take a quick break and grab me a nice cold, cold beer, and then we're going to keep going. Mission board. What do we got here? Mission Available missions. Double Jack Fleet. Oh, crap. Double Jack's capital ships are on the move near Leafy Reach. We must strike now before they reach the belt. And while they're without fighter support. I'm not striking their capital ships. You're out of your goddamn mind. Ceramic plating delivery. What does that require? Cargo space of 9. I've got a cargo space of 10 or 14. I don't remember. I think it's 10. Simic. Oh, you can see they're color-coded for difficulty. Military aid. Average... I gotta take the low ones because I'm, I'm weak, weak sauce. Notice that the faction standing changes. Like if you wanna go up with the Merchant's Guild. I kinda wanna keep working for the Militia because I'm betting if we head over to one of the Militia outposts, they might have a couple different ships for us. So let's go ahead and do the details on this one. Um, urgently requested for appelling attack. If it's a station, it may actually have turrets, but before we start this mission of this Militia aid, which I'm going to go ahead and accept. Uh, let's go ahead and put her into break mode. I'm going to grab me a beer, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. See you in a bit. Set the mission first. Right. So you want me to hit a target no bigger than a womp rat at insane speeds down a death trench. Great. Quasar attack cruiser Intrepid. We are leaving the docking bay now. Goal 2, leaving the bay. Gold 1, standing by. Goal 2, standing by. Gold leader to red leader, beginning our attack run. Deflector, double front. There must be 10, 20 guns down here. We're starting for the target shaft now. Watch that crossfire. Stay on target. Almost there. The guns. They've stopped. Watch for a fire in goal two. Goal two, he's on your six. Stay on target. They came from behind. Ah! The exhaust port is marked and locked in. Switching all power to front deflector shield. Switch all power to front deflector shield. We're almost there. Stay on target. Just a few more seconds. Eat this, the Imperial bastard. And it's away!
Unmute everything. Get this stream back up and running. Hey guys, I'm back. Saw a little bit of conversation going on in the hitbox chat just as I came back with my beer, talking about my uh, my Y Wing video and how one person said the Y Wings never even made it to the trench, and somebody else was saying, yeah, they did. They shot and they missed. It was Gold Squadron. It's true. The Y Wings in uh, A New Hope actually made it all the way to the trench run. Got into firing range. Used the targeting computer. Fired and. It impacted on the surface. They even say, I think that's the quote. They it just impacted on the surface. They pulled out, and then Luke had to come save the day. Anywho, anywho, so let's get everything set back up. Now let's go. We got ourselves a mission. Our mission's a simple one. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it was pretty simple. It was like kill stuff, I believe, and a thing called love. Uh, I have two missions. I think I accidentally just took two missions. Or maybe one's just my story mission. So how do we mission log? There we go, mission log. This guy's in distress. This is a high one. Abandon mission that crap. Abandoned. We're going after the militia aid. We're gonna jump in with them and help them protect their station, which is actually this mission this away. Let's get out of this place. Am I centered on the camera? All right, just making sure. Let's gut it. Uh, Dylan, no, I'm not at all sponsored by EA to spotlight Battlefront. And I've heard people complaining about you already, so we're just gonna get rid of your stupid ass. No, I am not sponsored at all to do anything with Battlefront by EA. The only thing that I've had contact with AEA for was they made me some part of their, what do they call it? Their, their game changers. It was like their, the, the YouTubers who were interested in talking about their games. So they contacted me and they're like, would you like to come to E3 and sit in a seat and watch our presentation? They didn't pay for my trip. That was all me. All they did was let me into the E3 show. Um, not the E3 show, the, the EA show outside of E3. And it was all right. It was, you know, you guys saw everything I did on the trailer. I didn't get to interview anybody, which was kind of bullshit. And that was it. I got nothing else out of that. I never got early access to anything. It was meh. It was kind of meh. But no, I am not sponsored by anybody for Battlefront. I am legitimately excited about it. Um, yes. I think I clicked the right one. There we go. Did I mute myself? Probably misclicked. Testing, testing. There we go. User, there we go. Aha! Fixed it. Oh god, my ship is still flying while I was all tapped. And, whoa, ice field. Uh, I don't understand people's concept of, oh, EA bro, Battlefront. You got serious nostalgia goggles. Battlefront was a great game based on Battlefield. Two years after Battlefield 1942 came out, Battlefront dropped, and it was fun. It was awesome. Vehicles, everything, very in line with Battlefield. And people are like, oh, it's just a skit of Battlefield. Well, it's kind of what it was Battlefront was with heroes. <laughs> it was a little bit looser, actually, and a little bit goofier, and a lot of fun. More like a sandbox with lots of toys that you could play with in the game. It wasn't a very competitive shooter, which I'm fine with. I'm not looking for a competitive shooter. My Battlefront, hello, Rock. But, 
EA has made a game that looks graphically beautiful. How does it play? We're going to have to wait and find out, but it's a little early to be screaming about how they've ruined the game. And EA didn't make it dice did. <laughs> so, just saying. Just saying. People get a little too negative about gaming nowadays. Like, the cool thing to hate on everything before it comes out. To be negative about everything gaming related. Because I don't want to get hyped. I don't want to get excited. I don't want to be passionate about the stuff that I enjoy playing. Why? I mean, some of the funnest times I've had is talking about games I'm excited for with my buddy on the bus going to school when I was, you know, elementary school. My middle school. I remember when Red Alert 2 was announced, and we were, oh, so excited for that. That was in early years of high school. Talking about, oh, what kind of game mechanics are they going to have? What are they going to change from Red Alert 1? Ugh. What will StarCraft 2 be like? I remember going on and on about that, where we used to think, oh, maybe they'll have it like third-person shooter, but everybody gets to play the units on the game, and we really thought they'd go crazy with new gameplay mechanics. Um, obviously, not the case. They just made the sequel identical Initial gameplay, contact. practically. Full stop. Um, we have an incoming message. Do we fail? This location appears oh, I went to the main objective. I cannot quite identify the exact source, however. It is likely that it is within some of the wreckage. How do we find out which one? I will continue to refine the search and then... Wait. Ships are entering the region. Their weapon shit. systems are active. I shit, shit, their shit. Attention is hostile. Um, maybe we should leave. I wish you kill him. I think we should kill him. High threat level. All right. Black hand sims. I think they're pissed. Engines yeah, let's go. Let's just gun it out of here. Oh, how you like that mining laser, son? I'm guessing you don't care for it. I think it's great. I'm gonna mine your face. Sell the resources to the highest bidder. People are saying, Shaq, do you even know what the reputation for EA is? Oh, I know. I mean, you don't get rated the worst company to work for in America without having at least something to do with it. And the fact that you're a gaming company and gamers love to just go crazy on internet shenanigans. Hey, Ballad, thank you for subscribing. And supporting the channel, or resubscribing. I know you've been subscribed for a long time. Best damn pilot I've ever seen on Planetside. Hey, we gotta get some distance on him. But I'm not gonna judge the game that DICE made because EA has a shit rap. Also, I had a ton of fun playing Battlefield 3 when that came out. I, won't forget this. I know that their games have uh, issues of being broken. I know their games have... Oh, we've almost got this guy. Just a few more broadsides. Oh, no, you don't. Boost to keep up with him. Boost to keep up with him. Look at that mining laser. Wreck him. I'm gonna cut out in front of him. I was hoping to ram him. But I'm not going to rate the game type play it. No, but he should. That's why I haven't pre-ordered the game. Let's see what it's like. And this beta week, and I'm actually going to get hands-on time with it. And the bit that I played at E3 was incredibly enjoyable. I thought the flight mechanics were a little weird, um, just the control-wise, but I thought the ground combat was a ton of fun. Sound design was spot on. The game is the best-looking Star Wars game ever made. Like, graphically, it is gorgeous. Am I disappointed that they didn't go crazy with the game mechanics and experiment with new types of gameplay? Of course I am, but it's a triple-A game. We all know that they're not going to try new, really new things. We have to look at the indie scene for that. Where are you running, dude? Yes, please do. Get your ass over here, Griffin. Not Griffin. Garrus. Help me wreck this guy. His rear shields are down. Oh, I'm just like, I'm just out of range. I think. Those didn't hit. Those didn't hit. Those pulse cannons, though, I wish I had just one more set of pulse cannons. It would be such good, such good. More, some more speed. That music. I like that not all the uh, combat music in this is just hammering you with bass. Like this one, it's just like, yeah. All right, we gotta cut that, that distance down. All right, let's give him some missiles. We gotta finish him now while we're close enough. There's the laser. That. Take him down. Missiles are on the way. We got him. We got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cargo container. I'll stop. Salvage. What'd I get? I got a Mark 1 proton cannon. 
And a narco cola. I think narco cola is illegal. I gotta watch out for that. Empire War is better. Better than what? I love Empire War. I think it's one of the best strategy games. Hands down. Let's scan this real quick. Make sure we got it. We're good. Come on, Garrus. We gotta roll. Holy shit. Look at all the enemy targets out there. That's scary. Jack, would you make videos of the new Star Wars game? Um, if you're talking about Battlefront, I've made a couple. I'm talking about, you know, what their design philosophy is for the title. Um, Alright, let's go to warp. Rock and roll! I mean, I think straight up the best Star Wars game to play right now is if you're looking for strategy, go play Empire War. If you're looking for immersive experience, go play Star Wars Galaxy's Emulator. Um, if you're looking for more strategy and you just want the space stuff, look for Sins of a Solar Empire mods. Um, yeah, for shooter, I mean Battlefront 2, but it's really old. <laughs> and multiplayer is buggy as shit now because the servers are down. You can't host your own server, which kind of sucks. Uh, standalone server, I mean, not like Game Ranger server. So we need a good shooter. RPG, KOTOR series, KOTOR 1's being remade, so I've been told. Some missiles! Oh, shields! I think I just caught that. Oh, mining laser just wrecked your face. You know, what happens if I cut speed? Cut speed, go after this other fighter. See if that if that cruiser will come back after me. Let's fight on my terms instead of chasing him around. Or Garrus has got this. Been put at the location of the fragment, identified it for you. Scavenging the wreckage should recover it. Sweet. Give it a pulse. There's our objective. Empire War mods. Yeah, if you played a lot of Empire War and you want a, a new mix, or if you love the Clone Wars. Then there are the Clone Wars mods. Republic at War is a, a fantastic mod. Um, did I miss it? Pulse again. Ordnance crate out there. Is that what I'm looking for? No, 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 no. My objective's right here. If I want that ordnance crate, we're gonna go over there and loot that in a second. So there's loot for weapons and stuff in this. Nice. I wonder if you get stuff you can't buy that way. Pulse up. Wow, that ship is a lot bigger than me and it's dead. Can I loot it? I'm probably not close enough. Let's get a little closer. Just squeeze in there. All right, half speed. There we go. Salvage the derelict. So we got part of her memory chip. What do you got for me? Incoming message. I have integrated the fragment into my vehicle and recovered some small part of my memory. I confess, it is a relief. How much of your memories have you recovered? They are not whole, and I cannot reconcile them all. I can recall the name I was given. I was, am, called Trell, at least. That is the closest approximation in your language. Trell, huh? That sounds better than Spectre. You have helped me, and so now I will return the favor. I have analyzed this vessel for likely improvements, and there are two that I can readily offer. Booster efficiency could be easily increased. However, I can also perform a similar modification. I have to choose. Ah, uh, okay. Let me read through this. I have analyzed the special improvements. There are two that are readily offer. I can get my booster efficiency, making me move faster, probably, or maybe efficiency. So probably more booster power, or my overshield. You know, I'm having trouble keeping up with targets and getting out of fights. I'm thinking more booster power. So let's definitely improve my booster capacity. As you wish. The modification is now complete. For now, I, I think that'll be great for when I've got that big battleship too for the broadsides. I can nail that booster, have that little extra oomph to get right in that nice, perfect However, spot for the blast. I must study further before being okay, so she's gonna study more. So the more I do her missions, the more upgrades I get. Let's check out my new boost. There's my boost. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's much farther. All right, let's get sublight. There was a crate out here. Get pulse out. Jack, would you consider doing a let's play of this? Dear friend, I heard you might be in some sort of trouble. I'm pleased to see this was misinformed. Uh, we should speak further. All right, I'll come back to base in a minute. Where's that loot? 
Somebody said loot. They've got Ordnance Crane. Get ahead. Yeah, I think I am going to do a full probably Let's Play of this. This will probably be episode one right here. I will be doing a full Let's Play of this. I love this game. So good to see you. Well, I have good news. I've succeeded in arranging a meeting with Xena. Xenia? And I'm sure she'll be able to provide you the help required. News travels fast. What's the details? The coordinates are remote, but I assure... Uh, be sure that Zinnia will meet you there, away from prying eyes. She has a reputation to maintain, of course. Alright, let's go sideways. I know where to find you, you weird fish face. Watch your back, friend. Voice analysis indicates that this individual is prone to deceive. Excuse me, that was obvious, wasn't it? It was a little obvious, but thank you, Trill. <laughs> this individual is prone to deceit. Yeah, I'm glad you got the same same feeling as I did. We still got a militia mission. We should go do that. We can go to warp now. Let's do one more pulse scan. Any more loot? Damn it, there is loot back there. I love loot. We're going back. I'm sorry, guys. Let's use that new booster. It's only 20 out. Shaq, how long is this stream gonna be running? Answer me, god damn it. Changeling Grim. Oh look, loot! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I figured I'd stream for a couple hours, minimum. So until I feel like I need a rest. I just lost my target. There's the target right there. Full speed ahead, Captain Nemo. Captain Spoobing. There's a bunch of explosions out here. Warning. It's metallic ore. Eh. Alright, I'll collect it. That's kind of a waste. Alright, let's go help the militia. Can I open my inventory? What do I got in my cargo? Mission log. Cargo! We picked up... I thought we picked up a weapon. Ah, oh, maybe it doesn't show up in the cargo. Anywho! If someone tries to kill you, you kill him right back. Firefly clothes should be real in this strand. Haven't been enough of them yet. I'm gonna work on that. That music. The maker says Shaq loves the booty. No comment. Is that music in the game? It is in the game. People keep asking that. That's how much of a shock the music is in this. Where people get in there like, man, this is good. It's so fitting, but this can't actually be part of the game. It is. It straight up is. You're so used to that, like, epic sci-fi score, and in this one you get in, you're like, I like this. My ship is beat to hell, it's dirty. I'm out on the rim, trying to get the job done. Barely making it at this point. The only thing this is missing that I think would make a great Firefly game is the crew mechanic, because that game was always about the crew. Alright, here's our mission. We got an actual pirate. A main pirate out there, one of the pirate lords or whatever. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, boys. Right, we're gonna stay on the outskirts and we're gonna hunt down the fighters first. Sorry, it's friendly fire. There's that mining laser. Wah. Can't be afraid to use my... All right, there's our big target, enemy missile corvette. We need to start doing damage to him. We're helping the militia out here. I like that we're not alone in this fight. Good, I know you won't forget it. Shields up! Ah, oh, that's smart. Ramming speed, mother Ah! Ordnance crate, loot it. Drive by looting shields! Eat it. What? Oh, that laser. I gotta be real close to use that laser, but it's so worth it. Eat some rounds. I'm close, I don't actually have to aim as much. I can just start spewing around. We got missiles, firing missiles. Oh, those will go after any target, which is totally cool with me. Where are you running to? Where are you going? Have some missiles! Oh yeah, he's the only thing in route. In range. Oh, shields! Deflectors online. Oh, this is fast. I love that pulse cannon, though. It's got like a four... What, SM? I don't know what SM stands for. Contraband. I don't want contraband. Speaking of contraband, um, get out of the way, contraband. I'll run you over. 
We need to drop that. That narco and that bio waste. Can I drop it? How do I drop it? Jettison. Hell yeah. Get the hell out of here. Last thing I need to do is this militia to be like, you know, appreciate the save and all, but um, you you kind of are on the enemy. You kind of... Oh, he doesn't. That's just it. You kind of have you know, malicious cargo in there. You're not supposed to have that. That's an ordnance crate. What's over here? Narco. Seriously? We got no survivors? Did I fail? False. Oh, look at all the loot. There's also an enemy over there. Religious artifacts. I think those are not... They weren't red, so I think they're friendly. There we go, last target. He must have killed the last of the militia. Hey, my job wasn't to save the militia. My job was kill the pirates. Right? Alright, Garrus, let's do it. I got my gunship helping me out. You know what? Never mind. Ignore our mate. He's gonna use missiles on your face. Go outside. There we go. That's some bolts. I'll take those. Do you think there will be saber combat in the new game? What game? I missed that part. The new Battlefront game? Oh, we still got targets out here. Fire the rounds! Didn't aim those. Give them a broadside. Mission complete. There we go. Ooh, munitions. Tell me they're missiles. Damn. Not missiles. Military frigate. There was one that survived. And I got paid 4,500 credits. Well, howdy there. Can I, can I calm you, target? Soy paste. Just carrying soy paste. Glad I could be of assistance, Marshal. We're gonna head out now. Engines at maximum. Get Exit my escort and get out of here. Look at the wreckage for the win. <laughs> Shaq, can you get a giant capital ship? I hope so. Everybody was like, you gotta get you gotta get a massive capital ship. Accelerating to sublight. Hmm. Risk on this next mission set to very high. I'm a little concerned. I kind of want to get a ship before I do it. I don't know. Collision warning. I don't know what I should do. Other than go loot this cargo over here. I like my setup. Oh, look at the hull damage. You can see the fires there. Grab the nuts and bolts, the ordnance, the munitions. Please be missiles. Yep, four missiles. Excellent. What do I want to do? Let's check the map. Stellar map. I've never visited this Cymex station. It's pretty close to our objective. Treaty vessel? What's treaty vessel? I kind of want to go over there and poke it, see what it is. Let's go check out what the treaty vessel is. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Oh, how do I feel the saber combat in Battlefront will be? Um, I don't know, really. I mean, we haven't, I haven't seen much in the way how the heroes are going to operate in that. Some people have complained that they're they're OP, but you're Darth Vader. They're supposed to be OP. If they're not OP, then they're doing Battlefront wrong. Try for a dreadnought, indeed. So, what is a treaty ship? Go. About to come out and warp now. There's nothing here. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, it's at warp. That's why it's moving so fast. Let's see if I can catch up to it. There it is. I guess I gotta get real close. If I get too close, it should knock us both out, right? There we go. Yep, it just knocked him out of hyperspace. Or maybe it didn't. 
treaty broker. What are you? Like, what does he do? I want to know. Can I scan him? No, I can't scan anything yet. Let's follow him, see where he's gone. I mean, we're both still going to warp, so for whatever reason, it hasn't kicked us out. I could probably figure out where he's going. Show me the map. I'm here. He's hauling balls. I bet he's going to either the prison or somewhere else. I don't know. I want to know now. On a scale of 1 to 10, am I enjoying the game? Well, I'm still really early in it. Um, I don't want to give it any type of rating. The first 30 minutes, I have to give... Okay, if you're just rating it on the first couple of hours of me playing, I'd have to give it a pretty strong... Pretty strong 8.5, 9 right now. Because a lot of the fun I'm having is the questioning, what's next? What else can I do? Treaty Broker's actually pulling away from me. Can I can I blow up stations? Can I get a battleship? Can I get a capital ship? Are there more ships than the what we've we seen so far? Maybe like 10, 15 ships, different types of ships you can jump into. Maybe less than that. Probably 10 or less. I don't know. There's factions. I'm getting faction points. Does that mean I can get faction ships? How many people can I get in my fleet? I got a escort. What do you see? He's a gunship following me around. Can I get more? This is the kind of stuff I'm I'm like I don't know. It's interesting, though. And I love... So, right now, the best thing, though... One, it looks great. Graphically, I love the style. I mean, look at that. Pretty cool. The effects are nice. Music is phenomenal. Gameplay, strong. Pretty strong so far. Uh, not too complex yet. I mean, I got a laser rifle. I get my laser beam. I get in range of that thing. Shoots. Stuff normally dies. Uh, pulse ri cannon. Shoots. Decent range. Could have two of those and could snipe. Could kind of build my ship around the concepts that I like. So if I want to be long range and fast and kite targets, or maybe I want to be close in and punchy, and I can get the broadside cannons. There's all kinds of ways I think you can customize your ship, so that's exciting. Storyline's got interesting so far. Got this AI that's in here taking over my ship. And then there's random shit like this. What is this treaty broker? I don't know. I'm gonna follow it though. We're heading toward one of my missions anyways, might as well. Why not? Isaac, I can't see what you're typing. It's for brokering treaties. Thank you. Thank you very much. Somebody's singing the Narwhal song right now. Shaq, did you see No Man's Sky's promo on the Kill Bell show? Cor yes, I did. I did see it. Pretty impressive. I mean, it's something we didn't already know. If you've been keeping up with the game's development. Uh, a lot of unanswered questions, like the multiplayer. You saw when he was asked that question, he kind of cringed. A little bit. At least I thought I saw it. Like, how is multiplayer supposed to work? He talks about, oh yeah, it's multiplayer. You could run into other people, but it's incredibly unlikely. It's like, well then why have it? How rare is it going to be if anybody ever runs into each other? Why not have an option where your buddy and you can join together if you're going to have multiplayer anyways? That's my thoughts. Game looks pretty cool, though. Oh, one thing I gotta do real fast. Gotta do a little alt tabbing. There we go. We're still following this tree broker. I wanna know where he's going. I can't contact him, and I can't knock him out of warp, so we're gonna find out where he's heading, and eventually, I'll probably end up over here. Can I ram him? Can I get in his way? Let's try if I get in his way. What if we get real close? Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Hey. Come on. Pull over. There you go. Sorry. Oh, fender bender. Can I get your insurance information? Scanner. Can I contact you now? Lock target? target? Locked. Scan yeah. target. Some ships you can contact. He's got nuts and bolts and soy paste. I just caused an interstellar war. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What do you do? Why are you here? Alright, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go to my objective, which is really far away. Holy crap. Oh, is he going to warp? Boom! He's gone. That was cool. Treaty broker. And he's off. Is he headed to that planet over there? I don't know. Let's go ahead and head to the objective.
What happened to Flagship? I don't know. Might be cancelled. I haven't heard anything about it in a couple months. I mean, indie developers, you know? You don't know if it's gonna happen or not. It's a lot like mod authors. They say they're making a mod, they should put out a couple of screenshots, and then the mod just disappears. Shaq, how did you meet Veilfoyer? We were buddies in the military. We actually met in basic training for the U.S. Air Force. That was a thing. He was much skinnier then. And that's how I met him. We met at KP, actually. started. Well, the first time we met, uh, he basically wanted to light me on fire. Craft inbound. We have to ask him that, that story. It's pretty funny. Full stop. Oh, stop. Starboard shield. Ah, fucking, yeah, the nebula. It's, it's, mm. What am I supposed to do here? Scanner. Target locked. Lock target. Now it's a militia ship. Ah! Oh, wow. I turned on my deflector, and it knocked out my deflector and my rear shield. No promises. Can we get the hell out of here? I keep getting hit by lightning. So, how the hell did you get mixed up with Sanda? On second thought, I don't care. Let's make this quick. I've got official business to deal with here, and we can't be seen having this little conversation. I'm trying to track down my aunt, Juno. Word is, she was having some sort of dealings with the military. You two are related? Mm hmm Well, if you take after her, I guess you're lucky you haven't been blown to dust already. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, never mind. That old pain in the ass and a certain internal affairs official have a temporary working relationship. At least they did until Juno disappeared in the last few days. Disappeared? That's right. Normally we consider it no great loss since she hasn't spent most of her time on the right side of the law. But there are extenuating circumstances. Hang on. Damn. All right, if you want this conversation to continue, you'll shut up and do exactly as I say. What's going on? I'm out here for a reason. There's a convoy of suspected drug runners passing through this quadrant. Oh, shit. Since you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. That means you stay in line and you do what I say. Got it? I got it. Good. Keep quiet, and we'll talk more once this is over. How much you want to bet this ends in a firefight? Hell, starts in a firefight. All right, keep quiet and sit here. Got it. I can Craft do this. Inbound. That nebula's screwing with my sensors. At least I got this military ship here with the three fighters escorting it. The traitors have arrived. There they are. Oh, seriously? Scanning. You got me doing your Target dirty work? Scanning. Scanning. Uh, pure water, unobtainium, munitions, and robots. That doesn't seem too bad. What do you got? Neutral, munitions, um, obtainium, ceramic plating, data cubes. Uh, that doesn't seem too bad either. Oh, I'm home free, yeah. right? Fuck. <laughs> or narco cola, which is basically cocaine. Oh no. Uh, okay. Ah! Ah! He's opening up on me! Hey, come on, man. You don't have a chance. Okay, I'm actually getting really chewed to shit. Especially with the lightning. Oh, don't, don't shoot the friendly... The friendly ship. Keep firing, assholes! Oh, I'm close enough. Just open fire. Aiming. Who needs that? Let's actually kick on the engines now. You can't fire your broadside. Oh, I've almost got the straighter down. No, no, no! Boom! Oh, eat it! Is he running? Are you running? There's no running! Oh, we got more coming in. We haven't finished the ones we've got! Shit. Threat level red? Oh, that's not good. I need to start pulling back. We need to get within range of the ships. The other military friendly ships. Is that right by my ass? You better run. Garrus, that's a terrible plan. Because we've got double jack bombers coming in from every side. There's our friendly militia ship. I'm going to stick near him so we can cover each other. Eat it, you gunship. Charge, 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 charge. Fire. Now we're doing damage. That pulse cannon, man. That's good stuff. 
Oh, my shield's down on the right hand side. I've got a hull breach. Hull breach on deck two. I don't even know if I have multiple decks. Oh, and all my. Sh all right, rotate, rotate, rotate. Flash my ass at him. I still have missiles. Fire! <laughs> Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? Oh crap, Retaliator? What the hell are you? I don't know, more missiles. I fired them all, oh, shit. I don't think I'm in range. That's how big that ship is. Garrus, we're getting our shields back, we're going in. We gotta give that military cruiser a hand. Where is he? All right, he's right there, I think. Nope, you're, pulse scan. Where is our friendlies? There they are. Our friendly has, wow, a whole lot of nasty chasing him. Have some rounds. Oh, ramming speed, screw it. We're going in. And then just pounding that fire button on the broad side. Can't miss if I'm scraping paint. All right, let's bring our port side into their firing arc. There's a little bit to the combat, you know, positioning your ship properly, using your shield deflector, using your engines. You can mix it up. Target in range. Almost, almost. Let's see what the range of that turret is. Two. It's like just under two or three. Threat yellow. Threat yellow level. Level. Blah, blah, blah. Yellow. Look at that laser beam. Oh. Oh, I don't care. It's a mining turret. Doesn't bother me none. I'm gonna mine your ship of all some valuable material. My top cannons just about took out. He's moving to attack. What are you moving to attack? Fine, you're faster than me. He is faster than me. I need a new ship so bad. Garrus is rocking that retaliator over there. Oh, fighter. Data cubes. Let's grab that. Pulse scan. Hey, the militia took out a target. Fantastic. Get over there and give her a hand. If enemy want a piece of this, they can come get it. I'm gonna be right up his butt. He's got low shields on the right hand side. And shields up. Time to open up on him. Oh crap. I'm about to lose my angle. Nope, my turret's not smart enough to not shoot friendlies. Take this. That trader's running. Soy based. So what's the plan? Are we gonna continue to hunt these guys down or are we gonna call this good? Well that trader just turned around, so I guess we're gonna go fight this guy. You can see the damage on my hull. I can't tell, but I think it's actually blown holes in the ship. Or it's a really good texture. Look at all my other screen on the stream just so I can see. A little bit brighter on my other screen. I like her ship. I dig that. I'm starting to think the factions have their own ships because I couldn't, I've not seen that ship for sale. Will it tell me what kind of ship that is? Lock target, scanning target. It's a frigate. It doesn't say the ship name though. Well, I'm getting the kill. I wanna get paid. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Maybe. Hey, what's our mission here? Moving to engage. Moving to engage. All right, looks like we're in combat. Exciting. Pirates came back. Exciting. Almost in range. And turret should start firing. There we go. I can switch to the turret. I can manually fire. It actually shoots faster if I manually fire it. But I don't think the broadsides will fire. Pick up that. Hold stop. Oh, we got a mission, uh, message coming in. Got your blood pumping yet? You certainly held your own. You must run in the family. Don't worry about me. Maybe we should pick up where we left off. I guess you've earned it. Not much more to say though. Juno's missing. I'm pretty sure the Double Jack Cartel has her held somewhere. Space is a big place though. 
Oh, really? It's the double jack scudder. Alright, then what do you want me to do? I don't have an answer to that yet. I'll have to work something out. But there's politics in there. We can't just saddle up and go in guns blazing. Guns blazing is exactly what we should do. That's how you end up dead. Ah. Not much of a choice anyway. This is my rodeo. We do it my way or not at all. You know, for an indie game, like these little cutscenes and stuff are pretty good. I dig this. Let's meet someplace quiet. Give me a little time to think. There's a bar I know. I'll be waiting there once I figure out how this works. Okay, right. I'll meet you at the bar. Don't get yourself killed in the meantime. In transmission. I probably need to repair my stuff too. I bet my ship's beat all the hell. So, oh, let's see if she takes off for the objective. Let's see if she jumps. I'll stop. Yeah, I guess she does. All right, let's gun the engines, and we'll head over to the bar. And I don't think I've actually been to that bar yet. That station. Got it. Aggressive diplomacy, indeed. Anybody else want to negotiate? Anybody else want to negotiate? Oh my god. Yes, this is Malcolm Reynolds' pistol, by the way, from Firefly, just so you know. I guess you're wondering what that is. Why do we stop? Oh, because we got cutthroats coming in. It's a convoy of them, I'd rather not. Garrus, get out of there, man. I think that's his health on the left-hand side. Hopefully he's smart enough to run. Gotta know when to run. I found a new nebula. Yeah, just flying around you'll find stuff. You can actually pulse, and you'll see stuff pretty far out you can go check out. Collision warning. Ah, oh, we're fine. Oh, it's at Slimex Station. Alright. Stock it up. No, Velfour is not actually. Broco. Pairs needed. How much? That's not bad. Minor damage. I took a couple shots to the hull plating. Yeah, it's not all that bad. Can I just repair everything? Repair all button. There it is. 31,000? Man, we might be able to get the Mastodon soon. Very fast. Well, what am I in right now? Ship that's considered very fast. Really? Mastodon is basically the exact same setup as what I'm currently in. Just a light frigate. Hull class light. But I get an extra broadside cannon and an extra turret. And it looks really cool. So here's what I got right now. 43,000. Not far. I need enough money to not only buy it, though, but to buy the weapons and gear and equipment for it. Speaking of gear and equipment, equipment bay. Refill ordnance. Look at our weapon upgrade, shall we? I can't not get rid of my mining laser. I love that thing too much. Pulse turret. But what about my secondaries? They all take ammo. I, I do like the missiles. You just don't get very many of them. Yeah, I'll stick with what I got. Just wait until I can upgrade my ship. Components I could probably upgrade. Like, I can get a better engine. Wow, actually, I could upgrade to uh, a 75 megawatt engine right now. Moderate top speed. So, right, my top speed right now is 100. That's why everybody's outrunning me. 120 meters a second on that one. 140. Gonna use up half my money, though. Get more DACA. Don't have enough spots. I wonder if this has got modding support. If it doesn't, it should. It really should. Hmm. I like that speed. I kind of want it. What else we got, though? Warp drive? Booster. Booster. What do you got for booster? 
Uh, slight better acceleration. Uh, seven second max duration. Hmm. All kinds of different boosters on this thing. Wow. Very slow acceleration, very high max speed. Also goes for 16 seconds. So it's like, what do you want? Do you want fast and quick acceleration or let it let it build over time? Booster augmentation. Ha! Ah, nice. Subsystems. Anything cool in here? Nothing I can afford. Boy. Surplus. I got Mark 1 Proton. I have Proton Cannons. We gotta try them. We gotta try them. Those are the broadside weapons. Ah, go back, go back, go back. Weapons, surplus. How do I equip it? Proton Cannon designed for extreme range and featured enhanced shield damage. The range advantage is balanced by slower aiming, however. I wanna equip it. What do I gotta do? I, maybe I gotta sell my originals. My pulse cannons? I love my pulse cannons. Install component, here we go. So you can't have extras. Well, we're gonna give out the proton cannons. Try. Uh, like I said, extreme range. So we're fa- oh yeah, we're gonna go engines. So now we got better range on our broadsides and then we're gonna pick up components, engines, we're gonna go ham on engines. And remember, we can keep these for our next ship. Oh, buddy. Now we're gonna be moving, moving quick. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna save the rest of the money for a new ship. I don't leave the station yet. I gotta, I gotta take a mission. Stock up. And we also gotta go to the bar still. <laughs> Red makes it go faster. Indeed. Hire a mercenary? Thought I already had a merc. We split. Word is you're looking for a pilot. That true? Splitter, what kind of ship do you fly? My Betty is a Cardiff gunship, and she's a beast. Mm. Don't you worry about that. I can't hire him because I've got See one already, so it then. looks like there's a limit to how many ships you can have on your group, I guess, which is a little disappointing. I'm hoping you can have a few more. Still breathing, I see. Keep going down this road, and you may not be for much longer. I can look after myself. Now, what did you find out about Juno? Here's the lay of the land. We've intercepted enough transmissions to confirm that Juno's being held, but she's a wanted criminal in this sector. Nothing too heavy, but hardly someone that the militia wants to be seen liberated. She wanted a criminal in the sector. Nothing too heavy, but hardly someone that militia wants to see liberated. So, that's I it. I didn't say that. It can't be public, but we do have an interest. The problem here is that things aren't going to move fast. And if you want Juno to have all her fingers when we bust her out, then fast is exactly what you need. So, what do I have to do? Well, here's the thing. You just Leverage or something? Firepower right now to pull this off. You're weak, and you won't be of any use to her. You need to get some scratch together and outfit that piece of junk you're flying around in. Hey! Just giving it to you straight, and I'd make it fast. Once I'm sure you won't blow away in a stiff wind, we'll move on this together and get the job done. All right, I'll be back. Don't waste any time. New mission, muscle up. What do they consider muscling up? Like, how do they know? Leave the bar. What do you got for missions for me, then? Available missions. Dead drops, very low, too easy. We need money. Ooh, we got a wanted. Risk low is a menace. Elimination is strongly encouraged. Four grand, take this guy out. Take her out. Or another militia aid. System militia though, I wanna get that system militia up. I wanna see if we get special ships for that, you know? What rank were you in the military? Try not to spam too much with the questions. I realize I don't always see your questions, but you gotta make sure you space them out. Um, I was staff sergeant, so I was enlisted, working for a living. Check. Our, we are your army. Just call the warg. Bring on the warg. That could be a thing in that new Warhammer MMO coming out. Since the orcs are gonna be the free-to-play faction, I love that. That's such a cool idea. Works too. I have the horde of people. All right, we got it. Let's test out our new top speed. 
getting up to max speed. Oh, look at that ship. Militia Destroyer. Scared. Lock target. I can hail him. You're not going to be any trouble, are you? You think I can do to lend a hand? I think we'll be fine without your help. You can be on your way. Just a friendly offer, no harm done. This area is dangerous. I could sure use your help. We don't have time for this. We have pressing matters to attend to. I bet if I had my faction high enough, I could get that destroyer to follow me. All right, all right. Suck void, you jackbooted freaks. Oh, wow. Fly safe. Yeah, take care. Are all their captains like? Just saying. Just saying. Oh, let's test out the new weapons. Long load time, extreme range. Whoa. Very cool, very cool. Uh, oh, I have a mission. I should probably deal with that. Where the hell am I going? Accelerating to sublight. Militia A, there we go. You know, I was asking for help because I'm going to help you guys. You can't even give me a hand? Guess not. On my own. On my own again. Yeah, basically. Armenian raccoon. I'm almost in the blue for the militia. I'm kind of curious what that gives me. Speaking of militia, there goes one of their fleets. Convoys. So it looks like you could actually join the pirates if you wanted to. I bet that'd make these starter missions pretty easy if you're friendly with the pirates. Just like fly through. Hey! You guys want to talk about it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Fire in rounds. Shields! Let's get the mining laser in range. You know, I got this extreme range turret. Probably a poor choice. Shields! Those are still up. Looking good. Hey, guess what? I got a lot longer range now. Eat it. He didn't make it. There's one missile corvette down. I can actually stay at range. I need to figure out what my max range is. Looks like I'm hitting him from four meters out, though. Or SMs out. I mean, those are. Hey. Oh, I got better boosts. Let's try it out. Fire! Those are hits. All right. This extra range is pretty cool. Now he's out of range. It actually tells me what his range is. So let's get back in. Looks like I got about a four to five meter range. Six meters, five meters, five SM. Okay, under five, that's my range. Fire! I'm hitting him. His right shields are now out. And I'm faster than he is. Look at how fast I'm moving past him. How's it going? I'm in front of you now. Where are you going? You're not going nowhere. Pulse scan. What do we got? I got paid. What's all that blue out there? What was blue again? Friendlies? Maybe. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's friendly fleet. Helping out the militia. So they actually had survivors this time. I think I showed up the last help out the militia mission a little, a little late. Got a little bit of loot out there too. Let's go check it out. Pick up a new fancy weapon. Seems to be where you get a lot of your money from. The loot, like that turret that I had picked up. Well, the this thing, actually. What is it? Uh, this button. That. I think it was worth 12 grand. Can't argue with that. Go to warp for two seconds. Just get me up in range. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it. I'm only four, four out. Stop, 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 stop. I lost it. Where was it? Okay, I didn't pass it to him. I don't want to lose munitions. Missiles? I already have four missiles. I forgot to fire them. Shaq, when can you play Space Engineers? It's not when I can play Space Engineers. We're talking about the RP series. It's when can Bail for Tabby, and all the play Space Engineers. You're talking about for streaming? I might stream it on here. I normally stream Space Engineers every Thursday. Come on, loot it. Oh, I don't need ordnance. That's why it's not letting me loot it. 
engines at maximum. Yeah, every Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I stream Space Engineers over on Hitbox. Might try this week on Hitbox and YouTube, though. So. False. There's valuable material out there. I want that loot. Hmm. I passed it. I, uh. Don't drink and fly, kids. Engines at Where is it? Oh, it's the cargo container. Can I not loot it? Damn, tractor beam is close range. What is it? Hold full? Oh, it's yakky meat. I don't give a shit about yak meat. Yik yak meat. Um, we need to empty our cargo bay. All the junk we've got. What do we have? Metallic robots, pure water, religious trap. What is this? <laughs> do you have a moment to discuss your personal belief system? No? Hey, come back. <laughs> That's this. <insane. laughs> Indeed. Pure water. It's cheaper to just drink narco cola. Here's step. All right. Where are we going? Let's check the map. Well, I kind of want to try this with a controller now because it seems like it'd be really good and I can just chill back in my seat and play. Why do people think it's okay to jump into somebody's stream and then demand they play something else? Like, what? what is that? I don't understand. I don't want to go to the prison. I have not been to this trade hub yet. There's a jump gate. I could leave the sector. I don't want to do that yet. Rust City. I've been to Rust City. This is a trade hub I've been to, too. Let's do some trading. I haven't been to this system either. It's a bit far out. I kind of want to go to one of these outposts that are pirate infested, but part of me says don't do it. It's a trap. All right, set course. We're going to go to the station we've never been to. Wolfman says they just don't respect people. Yeah, I can see that. It's like there are 400... Well, if you can't hit box, there's like 500 people watching this, and you want me to play something else. That's a little, a little messed up, isn't it? So far, though, if you're just joining me, playing uh, Rebel Galaxy, really enjoy. I'm going back. I'm gonna help that distress beacon. I gotta see what's up. Really enjoying it. Love the music. Love the style. The ships are cool. The universe is pretty neat. Mechanics are solid. Haven't had any technical issues yet. Or you fell for it. Fire! Have some missiles! Okay, you're actually really doing quite a bit of damage. Now you're in range of my mining laser. Eat mining laser! And pulse cannon. I just want to ship for sling with pulse cannons. Like, Battlestar Galactica style cannons all over the top. Did this happen? Can we make this a thing? Or like boarding pods? I had a bounty on him. I'll take that. Fall scan. Munitions, you don't say. What's the other one? Hold full. Pulse again. Don't know what it is. I could drop that, that metal. I really don't care about it. Okay. Uh, let's head back to that station. Maybe I can sell some of my junk to that station. Let's engage. Jack, is your Twitch account named the same as your YouTube? I don't really use Twitch anymore. I use it for a little bit just to give it a test. Um, the, the delay is just too much for me. I'm a YouTuber. Like, that's my thing. I'm a YouTuber. And YouTube has a, streaming, a streaming system that now works for the majority of people. So I'm probably going to be using that most often. Uh, and Hitbox. Hitbox is my go-to. I stream, stream on that more than I think anything else. Because I can talk to you guys almost instantly on that. Yes, forwarded all the flat cannons on the Battlestar. Those are the turrets I'm talking about. But replace those. I could actually go full flat cannons if I wanted to. Really Battlestar style. But replace all those with um, uh, these pulse cannons. The dual pulse cannons. Pretty fun. I 
Jack, are you mad at me? I, no. Just things I've noticed since I started streaming. I jumped out of warp way too early. Yeah, we'll cruise that. Got some chill music, we don't mind. Look at this station. Slow down. I'm a lot faster now. Hello, outpost. What can I dock? Am I not close enough? There we go. Stalking. All the defiance Jack would have. <laughs> I want to know. Like, let's let's shift tab this real quick and see. Uh, can you guys see this? I think you can see what I'm showing off here. Let's look at um, game groups, maybe. No, Rebel Galaxy, not game group. That's not what I want. I want. I want to know. Doesn't have the pages yet because it's not out yet. Damn. I want to know if it's got modding support. Like, if there's workshop support or not. I don't actually know, but I really want to. Refill my weapons. Before we do anything else, sell my junk. Commodities market. Ooh, you don't say. It's a little bit better here than average. System average, it's way below system average though. Do I care? System average is 113, I can get double. I've got 12, eh, it's not that much. Just get rid of it. Did I just? Yeah, sell all. What do you got? In hold, metallic ore, a little bit below system average. That's fine. Just want to empty my munitions. Munitions for what? This says munitions. I'm going to assume that's for my missiles. I'm not going to sell that. Pure water. Let's get rid of that. It's pretty close to the average. Religious knickknacks. Get out of here. Designer clothes? I have... Oh, that's supply. This is in my hold. Okay, cool. That's easy. Selling stuff is really easy in this. When does this actually come out? The 20th of this month. As I understand it. Sorry, I just got a text message from a family member. Oh, God, I could just chill with this music all day. It's so good. You know what I should have done? I should have tweeted the devs to let them know that I was streaming this. Oh well. Anywho, if you guys want to though, feel free. Let the devs know that I'm off going crazy with this. Shaq, what branch of the military were you? I'm a goldfish. Okay, well he's a goldfish. I was in the US Air Force. I was in the United States Air Force and then I transferred over to the Air National Guard after I finished my tour. Let's back out. No, I didn't take a mission. Crap. Back inside the station. Stalking. Also want to see what they've got for sale, because we haven't been here before. In the way of ships. Shipyard. What do you got for me? I bet other systems will have different ships. The Barracuda. Barracuda. Fastest, most maneuverable ship in the quadrant. Weird. It's so weird looking. Kind of cool, though. Mission board. What do you got for me? Death drop. Seek an experienced agent to retrieve a dead drop near Marope. Secure to return the package for a reward. Oh man, high risk for proposition. Hmm. You know what's interesting? I don't have to kill him. I just gotta get the package. I'm pretty fast. Make that engine upgrade. Oh, this could be suicide. What's this one? Nah, uh, I want to get points with the militia. Oh, here we go. What is this? City militia forces urgently request assistance repelling an armed attack on the city border. Let's do that one. That'll give me plus 19 to the city militia. Let's do this. We're locked and loaded. Let's roll. See me? Is this thing like covering up my face? He's just streaming with the camera on. All right, we're rolling out. Let's see what the chat's up to. Yes, I will probably play. Oh, God, I hit a plat weapon platform. Sorry. My bad. 
Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Accelerating to sublight. Engaging warp drive. Yeah, I'll play Republic of War at some point. Too many things coming out at the end of this year, though. And way too much stuff to do. Battlefront. XCOM. Beginning of next year. Um, oh, God. So many games. This. <laughs> I totally forgot was coming out. Why am I? Fallout. There's a few others. I have it all on my calendar right now. In short, they don't have time to integrate support yet, but post-release may be an option. Okay, cool. Had a wash moment there. I'm a leaf on the wind! Watch how I soar. And we shall rule over this land, and we shall call it... This land. Curse your vile but inevitable betrayal. I'm trying to think of all my wash quotes. Oh, crap. I flew into an asteroid field, and now I have to, like, slow boat through it. Eh, it's alright. Just tweeted you and the devs. Thank you, Mage Production Night Shadow. That's a long name. I appreciate this tweet, though. Get smart. I doubt you guys are talking about the old Get Smart TV show. Probably way, way before your time. The dude that talked into the shoe. For any of the 90s kids out there that remember Snick, or even back when that show aired, which would be before my time. What was the show with the big doors intro, where all the doors would close, I think? Dun, dun. All right, here we go, excavation mission. We're getting in and getting out. Yeah, move to engage. Just distract. That's all we're doing. Just distract them. Time to kiss my butt cheeks. Flash my ass at them. All right. Port shield is down. Oh, crap. Missiles are inbound. Shields. Cool. My shields are down. I may die. I may die. Mistakes may have been made. Avoidance, avoidance maneuvers, serpentine pattern. Boost. Oh, we're going. We don't have time for this. Hull is 78%. We're taking massive fire. There's our shields. 73%, 76%, 62%. We've got hull breaches on all decks. There's the objective. Fire missiles, fire missiles. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Oh, okay, reef shield is failing. Firing missiles. They'll lock onto anything. Did we get it? Did we get it? We didn't get it! Don't tell me I have to kill them all. Oh, that's not fair. Pulse scan. Objective is not coming up. We do have friendlies in the area. Did you see those missiles? Come on, give me port side shields. Okay, give me starboard side shields. Give me some shields somewhere. Maybe I can use this as cover. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Give me a broadside. Speed up, fire. Charging, fire. Shoot, missiles away, fire. I'm feeling good about this. Engine Friendly ships happening. just showed up. I can still win this. Hit my missiles! Shields. Hey, there goes one of their missile corvettes. The friendly ships, man, those friendly ships! Ah, deflector help, deflector help, we're good. Boom! Thanks for the pay. Oh, man. Ah, sweet babies, get me out of here. Screw this nebula. I'm starting to take hull damage from the lightning. I need more power from the spirit bomb. Uh, bio waste, don't really care about bio waste. Do we have any other cool loots? Got more evil targets coming this way. Bounty detected. No, I should leave. I should leave. God damn it. Port shields down. Just get me out of this nebula! Half my ship is blown off. Like, look at the damage. Look at my, look at my rear engine pod. On fire there. Jerks, all of them jerks. All right, I'm ready to jump to warp, but I gotta figure out where I'm going. How much money do I have? 
We are at 40,000. Bad. Boom, doom, doom, doom. We gotta get repped. We gotta get repaired and fixed up. Chow Station is impoverished. Impoverished? Can't talk now. Wonder why that could be. We will never know. All right, let's set course. We'll go to the southern, the southern base. Come about, and we'll uh, we'll figure out what they've got for sale. If you notice, I'm going to places I've never been to. I'm flushing out my map because, like, I've been here, and on the bottom right-hand corner, it shows all the commodities that I can buy and sell. So I can really quickly. I got hostiles detected and friendlies. Eh, no, 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 let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, that's the. The bounties I must have picked up. Pirate Lord out there. That's like a boss encounter, I bet. Um, but yeah, like the more I go to, the more information I get, and then the easier it will be to do trade runs when I want to test those out. I haven't bought any cargo bays yet, though, and I refuse to do so until I buy a new ship. So, I mean, we might try a trade run. Jam out some music while we tote some stuff back and forth. They must have seen Shaq's beard. What? Why are people trying to charge the spirit bomb for me? All living creatures, I need your power. Give in to your hate. Wait, no, that's the Sith. Don't do that. For the Republic, I guess. Dock it up at the impoverished station. So out of context, indeed. Shipyards, repair my ship for a thousand credits. Damn, that Repairs took complete. that took a quarter of what I got paid for that mission. Damn, 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 damn. Almost, almost. I can get this one. The hold size is bigger. One extra turret. Not a bad idea. Will I sell my original ship, though? That's what I want to know. Or will I be able to hot swap ships if I have, like, a collection of them? Kame! Kame! And there is a Captain Check. I missed those cool Immersive Empire War videos. Yeah, I need to do another... I think the next strategy space game I'm going to do, where I do a big campaign, is going to be Homeworld 2. That's going to be a little bit off. The next big Let's Play, other than this, is going to be Fallout 4. More than likely. Uh, okay, can't afford this yet, so stop staring at it. Let's take... Let's refill our weapons. 800 to refill all the missiles that I used on that shindig. But, I bet... I think there's a bar in this place. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to see your mission board. Stalking. Mission board, let's see what we got. That death drop mission, I could just rush in and take it. That's what I thought I was doing last time. I forgot I took the um, help out the locals, which I got another local help out mission. I kind of want to do it just to get my, my system militia points all the way up. Did I just do this? That's not far from here at all. Merchant guild. System Militia. Our spies have learned and are testing a prototype fighter. Which desires this test end badly and they are willing to pay. So here are the such results. It's no ordinary fighter. That one could be cool. Death drop is just money. It's just pure. Here's eight grand. Try not to die. Grab that thing. I'm fast. I don't think I'm that fast. Let's do the Militia one. Last Militia one where I'm grinding Militia points. And then we'll, we'll take some other mission types. Engines at maximum. Mission militia aid. Dead ahead, 6,000 out. Let's get away from the mass so we can jump to warp. Number one, gauge warp drive. Stalking. Not docking. Ah. It does context sensitive things depending on what you're looking at. I was looking at the station, checking out my ship. Stalking. 
Shaq, I'm thinking of getting Star Citizen, so look forward to War Thunder Ace joining your squadron. Indeed, sir. Um, I recommend you buy one of the smaller packs, and you can get access to the... Uh... Accelerating to Come on, let's get moving. You can get access to the, uh, the current builds that are out, the modules and stuff like that, if you're going to buy it anyways. Help support the game. I'm real excited for Star Citizen still. Uh, the drama around Star Citizen right now. Sweet babies. Holy crap. Ugh. So, I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, Derek Douchebag Smart, the guy who made the horrifically bad Battle Cruiser series, and I know this from experience, I bought the box copy at a Walmart. I think it was a Walmart. When I was younger, when you know, 50 bucks for a game. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was a lot of money. We're talking like a couple months of saving allowance and working odd jobs just to make an extra cash to buy a game. And I bought uh, Battlecruiser 3000, I think it was. It said multiplayer on the back. It told you all these cool things you could do. It was supposed to be a game a lot like Star Citizen. You could walk around on ships and you could... I don't think it had first person. Yeah, it did have first person. You could land on planets, you could do shuttles, you could fly a capital ship, you could command a fleet. Horrific game. Terrible. Mostly broken. Horrifically complex in a, ter in a bad way. Didn't teach you how to play the game. Uh, just didn't work. This guy has been criticizing Star Citizen and using it to advertise his own game, which has been early access for like seven years. Anyways, there's a big bunch of drama about between Star Citizen's uh, development and the Escapist magazine. And the Escapist website, really. Because, I don't know, they're saying that it's terrible working conditions, there's a bunch of legal shit going on, it's... I recommend you look into it if you're a fan of just watching drama unfold. Um, unidentified signal? Whoa! Kick off the engines, what was that? Star Citizen looks really good, though. I mean, as much as... What was that thing I just picked up? There it is. As much as there's all this drama around it, the only thing that you really need to know is, right now, dogfighting is fun, it looks graphically great, it plays well. The dogfighting is a lot of fun, it plays great. And there is legitimate progress being made. Just go to their YouTube channel and watch it. It's fantastic looking. And they're doing something nobody's ever done. And I am willing to support game developers that are willing to look outside the box. Hack Transponder? This is a new mission. Shift Q, Control Shift, Trap Q, Shift. Hacking successful. Mini game. The following database contains current bounty listings and last known locations for recent marks. Individuals details the follow. Information considered highly confidential. What? Is this a mission? Bounty, 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 bounty. There's bounties everywhere. I could go bounty hunting. This is the kind of exploration that's available in the game that I have not messed around with. If I flew around more and did the pinging scan, like doing this, I could probably find some really cool stuff. Like there, I just found mineable resources. Um, well shit, do I want to go do one of those? Let's look at the map. Yeah, let's set course for one. I've got, oh, you know what, first, 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 first. Go back to the map. Clear all waypoints. If I don't go toward the wrong one, there we go. I was going to aid the militia, and then I've got, what is that, custom waypoint, and what's to my right? Mineable resources. I see. Okay. Yes, Chris Roberts posted a reply to the Scapist's gigantic clusterfuck of an article that seems very much, I didn't make my point, very much like what Derek Smart has been spewing, almost quoting it practically. Uh, I, if you want to read about that shenanigans, Chris Roberts has also put up a lengthy, we're talking huge, response to it. Um, that is, it's impressive, this shit that they're dealing with. And he has to respond to this stuff. A lot of people are like, just ignore it, don't do the lawyer thing, don't do all this. But he has to, because this is a fairly public website. You know, a lot of people read this. And if they're not well informed on Star Citizen, and this stuff is not true, what Escapist is saying, then... He has to respond because a lot of the income that they get is from you know, people buying new ships and being really interested in the game. And if they're spreading bullshit, my god, the amount of fire here! Full speed. Full speed out. Full speed out. Shield! Alright, we gotta cut some of these fighters down. 
Let's use our speed and let's use our range to an advantage. Let's wreck him. Almost got him, almost got him, almost got him. We got missiles inbound. Can we shoot the missiles down? Probably not. Get ready to shoot! Alright, shield's recharging. Come on, charge. Oh, uh, am I out of range? I think I'm out of range. Yeah, I'm out of range. He even says it. What are you shooting at then? Oh, the Harriers. I see him. What do you fire down range? Missing, missing. Shit, I didn't shield that one. Shielded that one though. I'm in range now, eat it! I wanna get this cutthroat dead. He keeps shooting missiles at me. Garrus, get in here. I think he just came out of warp. He's slightly b delayed behind us. All right, shields up. He's shooting some monster missiles at me. It's gonna hurt. Mm. Deflector's out. Come on, turret. Focus with me. Looks like the turret managed to take out the other fighters. We're gonna take this one to the face. Yep. Now we're in range of that mining laser. Alright, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Shields. What the hell is shooting my port shield? Holy crap, that hurts. Oh, we got gunships all over us. That's what's going on. Come on. And shields up. Ah, they're breaching the hull with those gunships. Oh, there's no good direction to turn. Now my port shield is starting to go down. I gotta boost it. Gotta get some distance. Gotta get some distance. Alright, switching over to turrets. And I'm going to take direct control. I think everything is out of range right now. Get my shields online. Look at that speed. I was able to get away. Get my shields back up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot the missile. Shoot the... No, shoot the missile. Ah, shields up. Alright, switching to group four. Wait, no, that's the wrong weapon. That's the laser cannon. Oh, if I right click... I can zoom in, that's kinda cool. But not with this. Alright, get ready for the shield. There it is. Coming back in. I've lost my armor plating on my right hand side. So I really shouldn't be shaking my ass at him right now. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, come on. Wow, my right hand side is on fire. Hey! The laser was done with your shit. Alright, I can get him. Let's start charging after that. Look at that range. How's my ally doing? So I believe that little circle in the left hand corner just above the map is my actual ally. Alright, fire and missiles. Missiles away. You guys are doing some damage. We've knocked out a shield. Firing another salvo of missiles. I don't care if it costs a little bit of money. We need to win this. I want to kill this guy. I don't know what that symbol next to his health bar means. But, okay, now we can just open up on him. He's so close. Fire, 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 fire. Bye. One more. Uh, it looks like... I don't think Rebel Galaxy is going to have money support. Somebody was saying earlier that um, maybe a little while after release it may have workshop support, but for right now it's not planned. I don't know if that's true. I didn't confirm that myself. But there you go. That's what I know so far. I'll look into it once the stream is over. So next time I stream it or I do a video recording of it. So far though, I'm digging it. Alright, come on, keep firing, keep firing. Target down. Is that it? That, that, that cartel hates me. Accelerating to Ooh, look, the loot! I love loot. I'm gonna go loot it. Must have all the loot. Don't want the bio waste. No, thank you. Detected valuables, you don't say. I'll scan again. Ordnance crate, that could be good. Maybe some more missiles. 
Save me the money to reload. Rearm. Grab it while I try to buy. Ordnance replenished. Not too shabby. I got most of my missiles back on that. Detecting valuables. What is it? What is it? Pulse scan again. That battle was over a pretty damn wide area. Cargo container. Doesn't say what it is. Collision well, it's cargo. Let's get it. What do we got? Salvage, intellectual property, and ceramic plating. Eh. I've only picked up one gun so far doing this. I guess I was a little too excited about it. Hoping there'd be more. Guys, how's my audio sound? Do I sound quiet? Oh shit, we got more targets. Alright, we're gonna freeze the game real quick. Target locked. Do you have a bounty on you? Are you even worth going after? No bounty. No bounty. My ally, another militia harrier. Alright. There's no reason to fight this guy other than to help the militia. And to be honest, if I'm not mistaken... What is that under? I forgot. My my map. No, that's it right there, actually. Um, damn. Militia. I'm still not in the blue for the militia. All right, I can help out. I'll help you this time. Moving to engage. Oh, that was the mission objective. I only had to kill one more of them. Nice. What about now? Ah, still, my militia is not, not in the blue. Huh. Almost though. What are we doing? We gotta go. I don't have any more missions, so let's check them out. We're well, gonna go after the bounty coordinates. Yeah, let's go break something. More missiles. Everything sounds good. Thank you, Zachary. Coming about. Coming to boot. Probably a little bit too far away. Let's go ahead and hit the warp drive again. So this is the intel. Time to find out how cold it is outside. I don't want to find out how cold it is outside. Yeah. Log target and scan him. Scanning. You're worth 3,500. Oh, you're my new best friend. Hi. Have you heard the good word of our Lord and Savior, Plasma Turrets? Because you're about to. Have some missiles! I should probably save those, though, because those cost money. And you're only worth 3,000, which isn't half bad. Yes, please move into attack, Garrus. You had one job, dude. I still have no armor. I'm hunting bounties with no armor on my port or starboard sides. I'm full of good strategy, aren't I? Oh, you're not running for me, pal. I upgraded my engine now. I can cast mochi, you pirate. pirates. Blah, blah, blah. Speak words. Come on. Charge it up. I actually want to get behind him. His rear shield and armor plating is just about gone. Um, no, actually, it's his port side that's missing its armor. Come a boot! Oh, don't you turn at me. Ah, uh, that's the plan. I don't have a surrender option. There's the laser. Oh, the mining laser. Makes me so happy. Cha-ching! Thanks for the pay. Am I picking up more enemies? Bounty detected. You don't say. Alright. You're next. I'm in range. I keep forgetting my range is like four kilometers now. 
or statue miles is what SM stands for. Maybe. I'm making the ship as I go. Wow, I'm getting wrecked with damage right now. Missiles, missiles, missiles. Shoot them like they're going out of style, man. Got to take out these Harriers. They got a lot of firepower. Oh, you came in range of that mining laser. It's too bad I don't get random chunks of like rare ore when I use the mining laser on enemy ships. <laughs> you randomly found, I don't know, uranium and tritanium and all a bunch of other random stuff. Because you ripped it off the guy's hood. Get in there. Shields! Wow, those low, those slow moving missiles. Those are the ones that are hella powerful. Knock out my my deflector in one hit. I'm picking up a bounty out of here. Alright, slow down. Start moving away and firing. Start using my range to my advantage. Fire! behind him he can't use his broadsides on me I wonder if there's any ships that have forward firing broadside cannons you know that would be kind of cool if you could just drop me some missiles so I don't have to go rearm I'd be pretty thrilled about that idea it's getting too hot for me no, he actually got out of my range how dare you mistakes were made sir Make me chase you. Oh, he's done. That gunship was the best thing ever. Totally worth it. Oh, and he dropped loot. Accelerating to sublight. What's he got there? Nuts and bolts. Exiting sublight. Blech. Okay, how much we got? We're sitting at not on this menu screen. Right. This one? 50,000. We can now afford a new ship. The question is what we're going to buy. Let's go back to the first area, the first city that we started at. And see what... I think that had the most ships. Rust City. That's the one. Custom waypoint to Rust City. Engaging warp drive. Try to avoid that pirate outpost that's out there. I love the chats <laughs> um, for my channel. I look over, there's a conversation about Bane Blades on Hitbox. There's a conversation about Shields Up Red Alert on YouTube. Shaq, are you going to explore more Fallout Let's Play, or are you heading to the Mojave soon? I'm uh, going to continue the Fallout 3 main story, and I'm going to try to get through that before Fallout 4 comes out. I think that's my plan. I do want to head to the Mojave, but Fallout 4 is right around the corner, and... Yeah. It's also, the problem I'm having with it is it's not performing as well as I was hoping. Um, if you guys don't know, this is my primary source of income for my household. For me and Tabby. So, I've got to make content that the people are watching. I love the Fallout series. I'm enjoying the playthrough. But, that's the problem. Not as many people are watching it as the other content that I make on the channel. So, it's kind of slowed down the production. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to try to finish Fallout 3. If I happen to get through Fallout 3, I'm going to go to the Mojave. See how far I can get with that. I'm really enjoying John Rollins as a character in that playthrough. Uh, where was that pirate base? I really don't want to end up warping into the pirate base. That would be mistakes. <laughs> mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Indeed. Rust City. We have arrived. Let's do a pulse. Just for fun. And go ahead and dock. So we got 50,000 credits. I believe this is enough to buy a first ship. Now we could wait. I could buy the Mastodon. Oh, this doesn't actually have as many ships as... One of the bases had more ships. But this is a straight up upgrade to what I'm using. Here's the Hammerhead. Here's just a Whittle guy. And then there's the Mastodon. Consumer version of the popular militia frigate. It features four broadside mounts. Currently using three. Has one extra turret slot, three turrets. Ooh, I can get dual of the um, 
of the the dual cannons. So I got four cannons on two dual cannons, or I could get a flat cannon and defend against missiles. I don't know. That might be worth it. The missiles do a lot of damage, and I can use the flat cannon to kill the uh, the fighters that are coming in. Here's a hint. People love the Space Engineers RP. Give them what they want more. Thanks, Bent. Um, that and <laughs> the most frustrating thing in the world is that's the series. It's the hardest to make because I don't have control over other people's um, time schedules. It's not like they do this for a living. Tabby, Balefor, Alti all have school. They've got work. And that's the problem getting them together. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should just do a Kickstarter and see if I can get them to work on this full time. But I doubt that would be a thing. I don't think there's... As much as people love that series, I don't think it's that. Um, then again, those have like 100,000 views an episode. I don't know. Anywho, the Mustaton. What do you guys think? I need to know. Both YouTube and Hitbox. Let me know right now. Should I upgrade? More guns. More pew pew. Might even let me do the story mission. The next story mission. And maybe let me leave the, system, the actual sector. I want to go to the next system. See what's there. It's an upgrade, so take it. Um, more DACA! I believe that is a vote for yes. We can, we can go with that. Bigger the better. So it says, Timoid. What about the frigate? Shaq raised the clone army. What? <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Tabby is not going to get a YouTube channel, sadly. I asked her. It's like, do you want to? People keep asking for you to have a channel. Not gonna happen. Alti and Vilfor have them, though. Upgrade, totally upgrade, do it. Paint it red so it goes faster. Hashtag upgrade. Show the other ships. All right, so you guys who are just joining us, we have, this is all the ships at this station. There are ships at, there's a variety of ships, it seems, at different stations. Uh, but we've got the Hammerhead, which is what we're in. You know, it's missing bits because I was flying it. It's like Balefor was flying it. We got the Mastodon. Uh, yeah, she's beefier. I mean, look at the size difference. Instant upgrade there. I think she's got more health, too. Just says Hulk Class Light, doesn't tell you. Then you got the Tenhosen. Oh, man. This is 172,000 credits. But look at her. She's mis She's fast. This is very fast. But she's fast with six broadside ports and four turrets on board. So she's a little bit more oomphy. I want to say she's like a battle cruiser, but it says frigate class. So what the hell? They're, how big do these ships get? Um, then you got the Scarab, which is 366,000. Can't afford it, but very cool looking. Can't afford any of these except for that first one. Turret focused, so you get seven turrets on that one. The Vanguard, which is twice the size of the ship I'm looking to upgrade to. Seven broadside cannon, or broadside ports, six turrets. Very cool. She's also got a hold of 30, and she's a whole class of heavy. And she is a heavy frigate. And mind you, a frigate is smaller than a cruiser, smaller than a battle cruiser, smaller than a battleship. So I don't know how many classes of ship are there in this, but I'm really hoping they get massive. Manticore. This is the first of the um, destroyers that I've seen. Hull class heavy, well armored. She's a pretty beastly looking. I dig this. All right, we're gonna do it. Mastodon upgrade. We just bought her. I can't. It's a trade in bonus. Trade in bonus? Oh, trade in if I switch. I get you. We just bought it. Currently owned. Equipment bay. What kind of weapons do I need on this thing? I don't even know. She's got... Uh, ordnance. Upgrade the missiles. There we go. We didn't upgrade the missiles. We just refilled them. Um, I don't think we had it. Why does it still say ordnance? Oh, she got all 16 missiles. All right, so we're fully reloaded on ordnance. Broadside cannons. Uh, they're already equipped. We're still using our proton long-range ones, but we should have an extra shell that'll go out. Secondary, we've got our missiles. Um, that's fine. Our alpha turret, our bravo turret, our still our pulse, and our mining laser. Where alpha turret? I don't know where your turrets are. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Gamma turret is what we're missing, though. I can afford another pulse turret. Or a flak turret. I don't know. 
Single barreled flak turret is deadly anti-aircraft weapon faster, more accurate than side mounted flak cannon. It is completely ineffective against large capital ship craft. So this is useless against capital ships. Turret swarm turret. Swarm turret is effective defense against attacking fighters. Launches six turrets. Fires six swarming missiles with each burst requiring image recognition target lock. Multiple targets may be simultaneously locked. Then you get the shield busters, which we can't afford. What do you guys think? Particle laser, can't afford the particle laser. So here's our options. Swarm turret, missile turret, flak turret, take out enemy missiles, enemy fighters, pulse turret. This is the turret that I already had on the ship. Fairly long range, decent damage, kind of good at taking out everything, but I mean, kind of good at hitting everything. Not as good as, like, flat cannons are at taking out fighters or missile are at taking out fighters. This is probably the best thing I have at taking out other capital ships. Does anybody remember a time when Veil Force alias was empty shizzy? Holy crap, that is old. That was because that was his handle, I think, on Xbox. That's why he went with that for a little while. Go flak, go swarm. Go swarm with like 50 R's. Flaka daka daka. Swarm swarm more lasers. I can't get the lasers, guys, sadly. Unless I got two mining lasers. Nah, terrible idea. If you get a good balance for the anti fighter, swarm. Pulse turret, flak, swarm, 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 swarm. All right, mostly it's swarm. We're going to go swarm. We're going to see how it goes. We don't like the swarm turrets. We'll swap them out. Seems like we get a big, big chunk of the money back, so. And they're also a little cheaper. It gives us a little bit of money in case we need to do repairs. Pulse, 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 pulse. Oh, now all the pulse comes in after I already bought the thing. All right, we're going to try out the swarm. I don't know what the swarm actually is. Let's leave. Let's give it a go. Missile turret. Missile turret. Oh, the missile turret takes ammo, which makes sense. I don't know why that's really pulse odd to me. Turret. What? There's my pulse turret. I don't think I can fire these without a lock on. Ooh. I don't know if missiles were a good idea if I have to pay for them. Man, I'm cheap. <laughs> Alright, let's get into a fight. Let's go get into a fight. Let's, um, let's grab a mission. No, we got bounty missions. Let's do those. We hacked that platform and it gave us bounty missions. Map. Impoverished outpost. We could hit this cartel outpost. Let's go see what happens if we fly into a cartel outpost. I don't know. It's a pirate base. The pirates hate me. Let's go find out what happens. Full speed. Well, let's test out the broadside. Charging broadside. Firing. I dig that. Boost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is much nicer. Can't wait to get her into a fight. I wish I knew how much health she had. Hmm. Right. Somebody just said, Shaq, set your turrets up for different targets. Uh, pulse turret. Turrets only? How does that work? I'm gonna leave this on any target because they are supposed to be good at just about everything. Mining laser, anything that gets in range because half the time most targets aren't in range. Swarm turret, your job is to take out fighters, guys. Okay? Yeah, take out fighters. Garrus, your job, any target, anything that you see that needs to be taken down, you just take it down. Let's do this, guys. Shaq, 100%, that's the amount of health. Hello, enemy outpost. Let's do a pulse. Holy crap. No. Can I hit the base from here? Can I take this base out? This is a pirate base. It's a yellow threat level? Let's see if we can kill ourselves our first pirate base. 
Another pulse scan. I think those are defensive turrets. So let's slow down. There goes my missiles. I don't know what they're shooting at. There must be a fighter out there. Yep. Oh! And they just killed him. Shields up. Wow, we've already lost our, our starboard shield. Come about, baby. Come about. Let's see if I can clear some of these bombers. So the base was defended. Oh, these missiles are fantastic. They're just killing bombers left and right. Here we go. Here we go. Pulse round. Out. He dodged it. He's out of range now. A little close. I wonder what the ammo requirement is going to cost me on this. Like, how much would it cost to have a missile boat? I want to know if I can take out a space station. There's the missiles. They're out. They're away. Target destroyed. This is the kind of thing I think later on, if you can take out these bases, it does have a health goal. Um, that's a platform. I can probably hit that because it's not moving. I'm fine. I'm not going to run anything. Right? Uh, is when you have enough, like if I had a faction standing with a militia, I bet I could get the militia to come in to help me take this place out. Changing who controls what, where, you know? I think that would be really cool. Real close to that asteroid on my port side. I'm in mining laser range. God damn, these mini platforms have some help. I'll stop. Garrus, get out of here. I wonder if he's smart enough to leave. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, God, that's the station shooting at me. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Beam platforms everywhere. I'm starting to take a lot of damage. Time to go. Give him a blast of missiles on the way out. Hey, that Corvette's almost dead. I wonder if he's got a bounty on him. Let's find out. Lock target and begin to scan. Damn, no bounty. Look at me lasering something. <laughs> oh, I see him. Shields up. I stopped him. I want a fleet. I want to lead the armada. They're using the same missiles that I've got on me. They don't do enough damage to capital ships to be worth using. They got another bomber. I wonder how many fighters it has, if it's like a limited number. Ferris is back. It does have a health bar. It makes me think it's dam you can't damage it, you just need more firepower. Let's stop here and see if we can fire at it. We're hurting its starboard shield of the asteroid. Can I just fire? No. Fire! Click, 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 click. So I haven't taken out its... So this does more damage. I'm hitting it, but I don't see the shield failing. It might be just I'm too weak. Ow! Starboard shield's down. Somebody's asking, where is the health located on this? If you look at the map on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll notice that... Oops, shields. I've got a blue circle on the outside of the map. That is my shields for every quadrant. So forward, backward, left, and right. Um, shields. That's my deflector, but I just use that on the shields. The inner circle, the white circle, is my armor plating, which I've lost most of my starboard armor plating. You can actually see the damage on the hull there. And then when those white gray areas disappear, that means my hull is gone. If the blue bar is gone, my shields are gone. And if that bottom bar is my deflector, when that burns out, um, which is something that I can use to stop 100% damage, but it has to recharge, um, then I am completely without defenses and I'll start taking hull damage. My hull is represented as that 100% thing on the bottom there, so it's like a overall health number. All right, guys. I'm pretty excited where this game is going. Uh, it's, this, this is the release uh, build for reviews, for reviewers. This comes out on the 20th, so I'm gonna be playing some more. This is gonna continue as a, probably a, a Let's Play series, uh, a live-streamed Let's Play series, maybe my only one that I've ever done. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, it's getting real hot in my office, so I'm gonna call it. I'm really enjoying it, though. I want to get a ship powerful enough to take out those pirate space stations. I want to keep upgrading. I want to see where the story goes. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, like right now, if you're watching this, please 
hit the crap out of that thumbs up button. What that does for me is lets other people see my videos. It changes where I show up in the search results, basically. And I would appreciate that if you hit the thumbs up button. If you've never seen my channel before, I'm all about space sim sci-fi games, uh, sandbox games, and of course, supporting the modding community. So, if you're a mod author, make sure you shoot me a message if you've got a mod that's about to come out. I would love to see it. Maybe I can do a little content on it. All right, guys. Garris, what are you doing over there spinning around? Making me look bad, man. I'll see you guys in the next video and or stream. I'm going to leave you with that new pause video that I've got going on. Later, guys, and thanks so much for watching. As soon as I find the button to push.